variety. Oh, let me know if anyone's here. Sorry, I'm, I'm like four minutes late. I hope you can forgive me. Hello, Splitting, Evig, Kyer, Penguin, question mark. Thank you for the 29 months. I appreciate it. Hello, Skiwi, uh, Duckworth, Kreptine, Bleak Werewolf, Gralix, Draconite. Thank you for the 14 months. I appreciate it. Hello, 108, Siphonia, Dridsey. Thank you for the 27 months. Hello, Doofus, Trinus. Truby, Chase, Frosty, Incromancer, Excariot. What's up, players? How are those cocks? Hello, Venom, Gauss, Augmented, Jess Long, Abyssal Spirit, Charizard, AEF, Die, Grim, Die, Tally, Tenenbaum, Fibicle. Is it very hot for you as well? It's a lot hotter than it's been in the last few months. I'm not used to the heat anymore. Hello, Damhain, Kratok, Daddy Drizzle, like to paint, Bruno, Torpal. Bruce, banjo time? Yeah, I'm subjecting the class to banjo today. Oh. We'll see how this goes. Hello, Martyr, Shivian, Haka Dioro, Gralix, Desert Rose, Sing With Me, Reshiram, Most Average, Truby Dooby Dooby. I think I, I gave you two hellos. Almost done with this rum hack, and it's fucking amazing. I hope you enjoy it. Hello, Drycrobe, Aris, Matoko. I had to throw out all my food and haven't felt like shopping, so I've just been eating pizza, which probably isn't great. Dude, I've had Burger King like three days in a row. <laughs> so, no matter what, you're eating better than I am. Hello, Ryu Sensei. You got like 20 degrees hotter out of nowhere. It was miserable. Yeah, it sucks. H Hello, Third World Weed. Salzoy, Zuri Fajita, most average, 2,258. Tomato is a fruit. What the hell is that super wheelchair reaction? Probably cooler, Matt. Hello, Neko. Envy. This isn't a Gundam stream. Yeah, it's Banjo. It's uh, the VTuber's favorite video game. This is like... Uh, this is how I fall into the VTuber pipeline. Hello, Empty Perspective. West Gray Fox. Pop-Tart. Here for the Kazooie noises. I'll try to limit the amount of irritating fucking Banjo noises. Hello, Turtle Pool. Thank you for the seven-month resub. Appreciate it. I'm always doing that in real life. Hello, not Ethan. John Wayne and Crescent. Oh, man. I've been torturing my friends with Discord super reactions. It's great. Don't you need Nitro? I don't. I've never paid Discord a red fucking cent. Hello, Froggy Buddy. Iconos, guys. Uh, Leighton, thank you for the 41 months. Appreciate it. Hello, Mad Cake King. Oh, chump Cump. Oh, I've been playing Minecraft for like the last seven days. That's been my my uh, <laughs> my addiction of choice. And I finally finished the, the fucking building that I had made today. And I would like to personally state that if Misa Coco had helped me furnish the building, then uh, I would have been finished at least three days faster. Boosting a server so they can have slots for things mostly. Got you. I don't know. I don't want to be... Uh, I'm afraid I'll get hacked if I get Nitro like Jenna. Hello, Yo-Yo. Nacho Man, Silver Millennium. RTMN. Jumpus. Sub T-Dog and Chad. Not a whole hell of a lot. I have... I have squirrels in my fucking wall. I had to call pest control. Because there's a squirrel that has managed to burrow into the, the wall right next to where I sleep at night. And I hear him making squirrel noises... At fucking 7 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> it's, so, and don't worry. They, they don't kill the squirrel, so don't worry. But little motherfucker uh, ate part of the siding and is in my wall now. So, that's really cool. Uh, fucking hate squirrels. Have I ever told you how much I hate squirrels? Hello, Roylan. I don't, I don't play survival mode. Hello, Uni Beans. Got overplay Bone Razor Minions. I haven't played that in like a month, dude. I I've gone through games like fucking five dollar hookers. Hello, nihilist. You like squirrels are your arch nemesis? Yeah, I mean they get mad at me when I piss in my own backyard and they start making these chittering noises at me. I I've thrown rocks at them before, in in hopes that I'll hit them right in the head and it'll be a one shot. They condescendingly yeah they don't like my penis. They think it looks like an acorn. And so they get excited and angry when they see it because they see something that they can eat, but it's also attached to me. And it's just terrible for them, and it's terrible for me, and it's just not a situation that should ever be. 
Extremely unfathomably based stream announcement image streamer. I'm glad you enjoy it. Fuck frogs. No, I like frogs. Squirrels are basically the only animal that I just don't like. Squirrels in our patio that keep making a house and having babies by their freezer that shoot holes in our in the wires in the house. Yeah, squirrels are motherfuckers. Um, not a fan of squirrels. Uh, thank you, Belittle, for the eight-month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Squirrels nearly cost me my entire biology grade in high school, so I spared little empathy for the pests. My dog likes to fight the squirrels. My dogs freak out when they see squirrels, too. Hello, Riz. What's up, dude? Oh, we... Man, I can finally be a human being today now that I'm done with Minecraft. I wanted to win over the Italians by making a structure that was cool. And uh, I don't know if I did that, but I'm done with the stupid fucking thing I was making. So now I can... Now I can do anything I want. The world is my oyster. But thank you, Melanitis, for the 15-month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Hello, Wet Walrus. Did you see the wheelchair super reaction? I don't usually look at the reactions because people fucking flip me off. And, and the most tilting thing I can have is the weird little fucking cretins who don't watch streams in my Discord flipping me off for using my Discord to announce my stream. So I don't I don't look at that shit, dude. I close Discord the moment I uh well I don't close it, I minimize it so I I don't have a window. As soon as I'm uh done posting the announcement. I don't wanna see super wheelchair reactions, I don't wanna see super flipped reactions. None of that shit. Hello Waga, hello Half Talon, hello Shelby, what's worse? The wheelchair the wheelchair is funny. But I'm tired of Mario and his condescending look. And his hand that doesn't match the skin tone of the rest of him. Hello, Sneaky Sneaky Snake and Titano Pandas. Show MC structure, maybe. That's fucked up, Techno Panda. You know what? If I could flip you, I would flip you with my cock. Little bitch. Fuck you. Mario is a man of many tones. Me too. I love using skin tone five thumbs up emoji. Favorite big cat? I like cheetahs and jaguars. Well, thank you for the six months. Uh, hello, Dampy. Favorite big cat. Fuck, I don't know. White tigers, I guess. Specifically the white ones. The normal ones or whatever. Thank you, Scully Sully, for the 42-month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Mario in that one image has the one expression he has in the entirety of that game. Hello, Gumjar. Panthers are so sleek. I have a... I have a panther as a house cat. We have a black cat, and today I was I was sitting there waiting for the guy to do the look at the hole for the squirrel, and this cat comes up to me and starts like licking my lips. It was weird. I guess my lips must taste like fish or something. Tired of being on the road? Well, get off, dude. Run into the ditch. That's what I'd do. Hit the bricks. Salt on your lips? Yeah, I guess so. Hello, hairline, final frontier. He just liked you. I don't... I don't believe in cats just liking people. My favorite big cat is the one named Q who jumps in my car every day after getting... What the fuck? I, I actually... You know what? I've changed my answer. My favorite big cat is the neighborhood bobcat that I saw like a month ago. I almost hit my first animal. I've never hit an animal while driving. And I almost hit a fucking bobcat that was sprinting across the road. And I would have felt pretty shitty if I killed a bobcat, dude. That wouldn't have been great. I, I've never even seen one outside of like a zoo or whatever until then either. So it would, it would have been a situation where the first time I had ever seen a bobcat, which I had wanted to see basically my entire childhood... I hit it with the fucking car. So I'm glad that didn't happen. Hello, ghost. What's up, dude? Lost the armadillo and gained a bobcat? I can't really envision the bobcat sticking around for too long where I live. So I don't know if gaining a bobcat is fair to say. Hello, Reynaba. What's up, dude? It's going to be a stream where the entire, the entire time people are going to want to mute. Because I'm going to be on Kazooie and she's going to be making that <laughs> noise. It's going to be great. Everyone's going to love it. 
seen a few. They're pretty cool. I don't know. I'm not sure how I felt about it. I don't really like that it was so close to my house. Used to live in an area with mountain lions. It was pretty weird seeing one just walking around in a field. That's kind of cool, though. Kazooie's squawking or Ashley breathing, which is worse? I don't know. I, with Banjo and Goofy, would Ifec Tower me. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Tried to play Banjo and hated the controls so much I quit. I feel like it... I feel like it controls better than, say, Super Mario 64, although that... Well, let me rephrase that. I think Super Mario 64 is really good once you get used to it. But if you haven't played either of them in forever, I feel like Banjo is easier to get into than Mario. Hello, Pit Panther. Probably, but I've never played Super Mario 64. That's fair. We had a water balloon fight where the water balloons were filled with diarrhea before sitting down on bathed to eat six pounds of cheese before burning an effigy of Steve Jobs. Okay. Hello, Silver Fox. Super Mario controls really turned me off, but I love Banjo. Banjo's one of my favorite childhood games, so I'm a big Banjo fan as well. I remember one of the most disappointing things that's ever happened to me in terms of video games was going back to Banjo-Tooie as an adult and realizing how much I fucking hate that game. Mario Odyssey is the pinnacle of video game movement. Odyssey's pretty cool. Also, what's good, Bruner? If I've seen that Stranger of Paradise game, I have no idea what it is. But Banjo, Nuts and Bolts. Hello, Bobby. One of my clients offered to pay me a picture of Mario with a giant cocktail. Did you accept? Do you want to play it? I don't know what it is. Um... I don't know. I have like a million things that I need to I need to play right now, so probably not. Action game with a complete shit post of a story. It's three player co op. Told him I would take it home if he wanted to, but he wasn't being serious. It's Neo Final Fantasy from what little I know. Kinda I'm I don't know, I think I'm permanently burnt out from the Souls like formula. I don't really like that doesn't sound particularly riveting to me right now. I love Vlad Tet. Maybe, maybe I'll change my mind down the road, but I don't really... Would rather do nearly anything else. No Return to Nose? Nah. Like, I really like those games, don't get me wrong. I just haven't been in the mood to play them in forever. So, I'm sure, I'm sure eventually the desire will bite my ass. So you're getting all the fun Bloodborne commenters back? Oh, yeah. Well, to be fair... I think most of the Bloodborne ones were actually okay. Um, when I, Usually when someone says they're from the Bloodborne days, they say something along the lines of, Yo, dude, I used to watch your stream, your Bloodborne stream, after working three consecutive shifts at Jack in the Box and getting high on ketamine. Um, but I feel like the Dark Souls ones are the ones who are like, Fuck you, why are you playing this shit? They, you used to play good games on this channel. The Bloodborne gang is mostly pretty relaxed, I, I feel. Hello, Yahoo Kemma. <laughs> I don't know, dude. And you would think that group of people would be the same, but I don't know. The Legend of Banjo? Yeah. I'm gonna play some Banjo-Kazooie for a bit. Um, yeah. You know? Back when the PS4 was young, she banjo on my Kazooie till I nut and bolt. Hello, Yasami. We'll internalize this knowledge of the Bloodborne gang and their love of ketamine. Hello, Loy V2. It's been a Woody Burger tiered one over here. I'm glad. Hello, Chopsticks. Technically from the Bloodborne days, but I was there for like the last week of it. Maybe only the PC Souls players are the toxic ones. I had to write something today about someone with the last name Tenor, and I kept writing to more. That's awesome. I can't believe Vetus is... Oh... I'm going to be dead before that motherfucker stops making video games. You know that? Like, <laughs> I'm going to literally die before Venus finishes the Tamor. Uh, I, I don't even know what you would call it at this point. Omniology? Whatever. Uh, thank you, Gata, for the 26 months. I appreciate it. How are you? Do you like Banjo? Doesn't he make money off of them? Like, that's his job? Okay, so I don't know the facts. 
but I cannot imagine there are enough people buying those games to be like the only thing he does. I mean, if he if that's the case, then I'm happy for him. Don't get me wrong. I'm not. I, it's not a shit talk, but like, man, I don't know. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe he needs to start a, a pay me tons. Maybe he needs a Kickstarter. Maybe the problem is that he has other obligations that are clouding his vision for making the perfect video game. Maybe if he didn't have to worry about all the other bullshit, he could finally make the horror game we, we all know he can make. What's going on, Noodle? We're talking about Tamor and Vetus. Eventually you're going to be a character in one of those games? No, I think... I don't really have very many nice things to say about him, so I think if I was in one of his games, I would be getting killed or something. <laughs> I think I would be getting attacked. I don't think it would be... I, I, I'm, I'm surprised that hasn't happened yet, by the way. I feel like like I, I'm overdue for getting a negative reference in a video game. I've gotten a couple positive ones, but I haven't gotten, like, terrible Tolomeo with, like, the dent... Like, where they portray me as the soy jack. And they just, you know, humiliate me. think that would be good. Hello, Kyle, the original. Discovered you from Sire Max. I'm sorry, my name's Kyle, too. Uh, I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm one of the, uh, the terrible Kyles that punches holes in the wall. Hello, Sildry. Vetus makes a whopping $45 on Patreon. Well, you know, I, that's fine. Um, it's, I'm not trying to sit here and be like, haha, you don't. Like, I, I think that Vetus has personally brought me and my stream enough entertainment that I wish he could live off of those games. I'm not trying to be mean spirited. We can make a T Dog soy emote. Uh, thank you, Pablo Boo, for the 35 month resub. Building a computer tonight. Wish me luck. You got this. Just if you're if you're not sure, look it up. Like don't. The the only advice I'm going to give you is you can do it. Anyone can. But if you're confused, just look it up on your phone or something and make sure you're doing it right. Um, it's not that bad unless you just you know. Hello, Siamese Sneeze. I'm terrible at following instructions. I'm pretty bad at it, too. Even if he's kind of pompous, he's given us a lot of laughs. It's true. I would hate if someone put me in a video game and had a giant woman consume me. Well, um, that would be pretty funny. I know you, you want it because it makes you hard, but I want it because I think it would be great stream content. People should be able to make a living making silly little games. Oh, I agree. Hello, cynical dude. This is, I think, the third time I've played banjo on my stream. I'm, I've am i played banjo quite a bit, although it's been a few years, I think. Hello, need the milk. Got a new CSGO knife? Nice. Third and counting. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how people like the banjo stream. Make sure to lubricate the CPU with salty water. I've, uh... I don't know. I've bent the pins on a processor before, and that was my main P PC fuck-up. My first time building it, I, I did the opposite of what I told you, and I tried a little too hard to put the, the CPU in, and it fucking... It, it, it destroyed the processor, which was really stupid of me. But I haven't had a fuck-up since, so... Hello, Ezekiel. Thank you, Monochrome, for the 38-month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. The only thing lubricated here is me. I'm not sure that's true. Dropped a screw into the power supply and it blew up and tripped the breaker? That's awesome. <laughs> I remember. I, Who fucking was it? I think... I think there was... A, like, years and years ago, I watched Ice Poseidon build a PC and he was, like, sticking a fucking screwdriver in the power supply. It was really close to, like, being a terrible fucking accident. It was insanity. Hello, kiss me on Dracula. I remember that. Yeah, that was some... That was some Oh, like, that was back in when we made Discord in, like, 2016, and the funniest shit to the Discord was posting the picture of Ice Poseidon making a pizza. That was, like, Germa before Germa to my Discord. MWO blew up my power supply mid-match. That was scary. I had that happen with Guild Wars. I remember thinking it was really weird that my computer started smelling like fish. And then it just turned off and my power supply blew up. So. Is that how hard Tolomeo cockpitted you? I didn't cockpit him. I, I With Noodle, 
The thing is, it's hard to get into his cockpit. You have to take Noodle from behind. And that's what I did. DJ image of him building the PC and not taking the cover off his Jeep. <laughs> Dude, fuck, I forgot about that. I mean, to face the memes I enjoyed further back than like three years. Yeah, it's rough. It's rough. I feel like even... I don't know. Do you ever like look back at a conversation you had maybe a year ago and text and see the way you type and you're like, holy fuck, why does anyone talk to me? How embarrassing. What the fuck is this shit? Like, why would... You know, I get that pretty much every time I look at a conversation I've had in the past. So, I don't know. What can you do? Pulled a pillow out from behind my back one time and the static caused my PC to shut off and I was terrified I fried it, but I, it was fine. And even when I looked at my old Facebook post, see, that's why you just don't have a Facebook. What are you saying? It's so embarrassing. It's not that I'm saying anything. It's just, I don't know. My demeanor is just embarrassing. Just to just got got complete idiot energy, I guess. I'm going to build my first PC this year. Nice. So surprised I didn't fuck up my PC build. Glad I had two experienced friends to do basically everything. It's good. It's def there's definitely no shame in getting help for something like that. Hello, Rafa. I thank you, the Mar, for the 49 month resub. I appreciate it. Hello, JJ. Nothing wrong with bad mojo sometimes, man ancient so i had a live journal oh my god I, I i've talked before about how when i was like 10 or 11 i used to frequent a pokemon forum that still exists today called serebi.net and i've mentioned in my stream for reference i'm 30 now so it was literally almost two decades ago and going back and looking at my post history would be um I think that might be the final thing that would push me over the edge. Like, I don't know if I could take it. People are friends with me long enough to get free therapy out of me, and then they just drift away. It's not good. I finally was able to build my PC like half a year ago now. It took me forever to get all the parts I needed. What's your favorite Pokemon? Kingler. Yes, Nacho Man. I had a live journal all the way to 2004-ish. Built my own PC as a team, but it wouldn't turn on, so I gave it to a local computer shop and made 100 bucks to have them. What, what? Did they tell you what was wrong with it? Or did they just leave you in the dark? Because you probably fucked up those goddamn... I, I think the easiest thing to fuck up building a PC, honestly... I don't know what it's called. I, I have no idea what these are called. But the ones where you have... It's like the ones that control like the power switch and the LED, the the case connector i guess um i fucking hate that shit dude that is the worst part front panel cables yeah yeah like you could get everything right and fuck that up and it won't turn on so power supply is an easy fuck up hello schrodinger's hamster hello mothman what's up dudes you ready for banjo kazooie are you ready for me to go eat them both them sif isn't hold on I have to I have to let her out. She doesn't wanna be in here. Oh When I built mine, it took a couple hours to put it together and another four hours to figure out why it wouldn't turn on. Yeah, yeah, that happens. I feel like that's a pretty normal experience. My motherboard is at least twelve years old. Make sure to press in your RAM. Press it in really fucking hard. Make sure you hear a crack. Uh, thank you, Grave Digger Dampy, for gifting a sub to Schrodinger's Hamster. I appreciate it. Is Daisy in the room? No. I think Mumbo's more of a giver or a receiver. I think he's a bottom. He's just had a couple wires plugged in wrong somewhere. I also had the wrong CPU cooler mount and had to redo everything again after that. I have to say, with building PCs, my least favorite parts are putting on the fan for the CPU. Because it always feels like I'm in a, I'm putting too much pressure in on it, and I'm gonna fucking mess it up. And the front panel cables, everything else is pretty easy. Although I've never done water cooling in my own build, so I, I'm sure that would actually be my, my least favorite thing to do. Daisy arc over for now. I mean, you know, I, I'm not sure. She's she's my dog, so the Daisy arc's never really over. I hate my CPU cooler. Putting on new thermal paste is stressful every time. 
Man, how, how often are you supposed to change that? Water cooling is pretty much the same. Hello, Dragon Gear. Fuck. Just put toothpaste on it. I do yearly shit. Fuck that. Every few years? Yeah, I should probably do that with mine, but... Changing thermal paste? Yeah. Changing the battery in my car was really scary. Hello, shoot, risk them. Change your thermal paste every morning and night. Make sure to floss the RAM, too. Are you a new thermal paste? It's probably good to do. I... I haven't heard of too many people making it part of, like, a regularly scheduled maintenance routine, though, until now. Getting a huge case is great for building my PC because there's lots of space for my hands and managing cables. Dude, I am the worst at managing cables, dog. Like, it is... Whew, fuck me. You see these people posting these builds where it's like every nanometer of cable is accounted for and it's all it's all done very nicely. Mine is just I don't give a fuck, dude. It's literally spaghetti in the tank. Diamond thermal paste basically lasts forever. Shove the cables into the block. How the heck do they make the cables so straight? It's a mystery. Lick the thermal paste off the heat sink? Dude, have you... I, I like to think all of them are jokes, but have you seen the fucked up images of people... People... Applying thermal paste in a completely stupid fashion? Thermal paste? Like, like putting it on the pins of the CPU or whatever the fuck, dude. Oh my god. Cables don't even impact temp. It just looks... I mean, I'm sure they could if you had a morass big enough, but yeah. 7TV making me think I accidentally made a mod or something. What's the point of mod logs as a normal viewer? It's a good question. Hello, Shackleford. If I'm scared of anything right now, it's apparently the 4090 cables have a tendency to melt. What am I afraid of right now? God. What am I afraid of? Myself. I I was... Like a Gundam was brought to my attention today that was $550 and I considered it. <laughs> I was like... Dog, I've got like 25 unbuilt Gundams. But this one's looking pretty sexy. I... I you know, maybe, maybe we could fit this into the budget, dude. And yeah, I didn't. It would have been stupid. But, you know, I was... I was tempted... I'm afraid of dino like I I don't know dude I need to stop buying fucking Gundams I need to start I don't know like I think better clean your house for that much well it's coated in gold so sounds like the Warhammer buying experience no I don't I I don't need any more things that just sit there I'm 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 building them but my speed is really slow I have at least two years of fucking Gundams to go through. So, actual gold. So, yeah, it's like electroplated gold or some shit. I don't know what the fuck it is specifically. Crocs are a thing. I actually... I thank you, Usagi, for the 61-month resub. I appreciate it. When I visited Florida, my... my I guess my father-in-law bought me these shoes called Hey Dudes because he was worried that I was hurting my feet wearing flip-flops exclusively. And so I have these fucking hey dudes now, and they're pretty comfy, <laughs> and I don't know, dude. But they look like, they're like totally old man shoes. Like, they're they're geriatric shoes, dude, for sure. Like, I'm, I can feel, like, if I, I think if I were to walk into Los Angeles wearing those, I would be beaten to death. Yeah, the hey dudes. They're so comfy. They are. They're really good. They're very comfortable. It's comfy, it's whatever. I mean, that's why I wear gym shorts to funerals. But, you know. It's an old man and game. Yeah, I mean, I'm 30. I'm basically a fossil as far as the internet's concerned, right? I wear my hey bitches. I like the most popular shoes out there, are they? I, I think, okay, all right. Let's see how, this, we're going to play a game, all right? Am I right or am I a misogynist? 
one of one of the favorite games that we play on on this stream. I feel like dudes, at least straight dudes, do not look at other people's shoes. I feel like that is not something that most men do. I don't. <laughs> like, I don't care at all about someone's shoes. I never, like, it, if I were to go out for a day and you were to question me on, like, any sort of, like, who was wearing what shoe, I would not be able to recall a single one. Definitely wrong. You'd be surprised. Wrong as fuck. Okay. So you're all freaks. That's cool. I like shoes. I notice the Zoomers like Crocs. There's definitely mall sneaker. I, I guess that's true. There are the people... It's like with me and the Gundams where they've got to buy like the new pre-ordered gold-plated Nike Air Jordans or whatever the fuck, right? I forget that those people exist. Part of the point of Drip to be like... Nice shoes? I don't give a fuck, dude. Uh, thank you, Will Daka, for the 59 months. I made it to the game. I'm straight, and I love my shoes and get compliments on my shoes every time I go outside. But I wear very designed shoes. This guy's got the Bionicle shoes. Sneakerheads are freaks. Men love shoes. It's weird. You, you think so? I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's just... <sighs> Man. Do they? I get. I get. You know. I do know one person who loves shoes. I bet Cooler Matt is shaking his fucking head at me right now because this dude owns like fucking a hundred pairs of shoes. <laughs> I own flip flop. I own flip flops and my hey dudes. That's I own one pair of shoes basically. So Jordan's still cool. I have no idea. I've never been. I've never cared about shoes personally. So let's fight the Makuta together. They're sneakerheads. I used to have a, a somewhat nice pair of dress shoes for occasions, but I don't know what the fuck happened to those. I swear to God, there's like a leprechaun in my house who steals things and disposes of them from time to time. Rocking the same Converse since my high school days. Can't trust anyone who looked past the push against shoe sweatshops and the knots only to pay three times the price for even less quality shoes now. She has a name. No, this has been going on forever. Wow. My dog has a lot to say. Wish I had that leprechaun. I got too much shit. I mean, I wish the leprechaun would take things I don't actually want. It seems like the leprechaun only gets rid of useful shit. Now this basketballer player. It was a room full of sneakers. Spent $35 on wings and ended up with stale fries, chicken nuggets, with a pizza, pizzling of thin sauce and a Coke with no flavoring. So stale... I'm sorry, dude. Like, one of the worst fucking feelings is when you, you're you like, man, had a long day. Well, I mean, I don't have that. I'm a streamer. But, you know. <laughs> fucking, you're like, I'm going to treat myself to some food. Get get some nice, like, restaurant food, takeout, whatever. And it's just dog shit. So, I, I'm sorry. That really sucks. I mean, you're getting all hyped up and excited for it. Been waiting all day to eat. And then it's just, No. One of the worst feelings... That happens on a somewhat regular basis. Got a refund? Fuck it, dude. Hell yeah, it's all good then. Eating $2 worth of freezer nuggets and I feel fantastic. I, I can only eat about 30 of those chicken nuggets before I feel like it's going to form a fecal lift. And I'm going to die. Diner, I was super excited to eat at again today. Got turned into a Vietnamese restaurant. That sucks. Maybe the Vietnamese restaurant's good. I've never had Vietnamese food before, so thank you, Ash Tanka, for the 14-month resub. Appreciate it. Thank you. Hello, Jamsta. Can only eat about 20 nuggets. If I have time to prepare my mind, body, and soul, I can eat a disgusting amount of food. Although, it, it's not a lot now. I've noticed that the, amount, the sheer volume of food I can eat has been going down recently. And that that's probably good but it also kind of sucks the amerifat ritual no it's more like the eating once a day tops ritual um for a good portion of my life i would not have like things to snack on my parents would do one meal a day when i was growing up so i learned to just maximize the amount of food i could eat in one sitting because that was going to be my only chance to eat for the day so, and, uh, I can put away a decent amount, or at least I used to. I, I feel like it's just an average amount now. 
called snake meal. I want to be a mukbanger, though. That's not good for you. Homie, I sit in a chair all day. I drink Diet Coke. I eat hot Cheetos. I never fucking exercise. I never, I never do anything to, to keep my, my, um, mental state acute. I don't do any brain exercises. I'm probably going to have a stroke and die any day now. Probably not healthy, but I love big ass single meals for the whole day. The main thing I'm pissed about is they gave ranch instead of blue cheese. Take Sif out for a while. She likes playing fetch more. Should ride that exercise bike I got you last birthday. I should also... I don't know. We've been thinking about the bikes. I'm going to get the Whataburger bike. Building Gunpla, though. I, so, like I said, I literally am a fool. Because I, for almost all of my time gaming, I've been playing Minecraft for the last week. I was recruited by Sire Max to join his Minecraft server. And I... I've spent an ungodly amount of time because I wanted to impress the, I guess, the Italian Minecraft community. <laughs> so I've just been building this fuck-off structure in the middle of the ocean. And I was informed by him that they turned PvP on today, and I guess they're allowed to blow up buildings and shit. So I was going to show it to you guys, but I don't know if it's still going to be there if I log on. Um, but I finished it today, so it's okay. Spent three hours brushing her? Yeah, you're the, you're the champ. PvP nor. Now, and if we don't, if we don't get to see it, it, I want you to know it's all Misa Coco's fault. I told her, hey, I need like I got a little house. I need some some help furnishing it. I would have been done like a whole day earlier if it wasn't for Misa. So if it was blown up, then it's literally Misa's fault. Um, I hope it won't be. I think it's too like it's too big to completely fuck over. Like, there's no fucking way in, in, like, the last two hours they could have destroyed the entire thing. But it's always a possibility, I guess. You gotta have free strippers for life or free pizza for life. The latter. Look at these shoes. I'm thinking about getting these. Okay, let me look at these. $275 Taft Russell handcrafted loafers. I mean, like, those are cool, but they're not $275 cool. Although, maybe that's me being a poor. I don't know, dude. Um, <laughs> I, can think of, I can think of a lot of things I'd rather spend $275 on over shoes. So, spend $200 on a Gundam? Yeah, exactly. Or food. Or bills. Two hundred seventy-five dollars seems cheap for fancy shoes. It's a spare income and it makes. Yeah, I mean, if that's what you like, I'm not trying to dissuade you, but I'm just saying, like, this is this is so far removed from my interests. Like, I would never spend that much on shoes, but you probably wouldn't entertain buying a five hundred dollar Gundam. You probably think I'm a fucking idiot for that thought even entering my mind, and that's fair. <laughs> but I, I just, I'm not a, I'm not a big fashion guy. Rather spends eighty dollars on shoes, but that's yeah, that's fair. Got a good leather backpack the other day for one hundred and forty. Like collecting pins, I used to when I was a small child too. I remember my parents would take me to Disney World and we go around trying to find the coolest pins. I had this sick ass gargoyle from some fuck off Disney movie that I don't I, I I don't remember, and it was my favorite pin and I treasured it dearly. And I put it on my Yu Gi Oh card binder. Found these loafers for a fraction of the price of the other ones, and they look much cooler. Let's see. I don't know, dude. <laughs> I don't know. I, uh, shit. No XTK. It was something completely different. And it wasn't a movie. That was a TV series, right? I watched Gargoyles. I know about Bronx. What the fuck are these shoes, bro? Like, I, I don't know, man. If this is what you enjoy, more power to you. But Christ almighty... probably fall apart any temperature above 80 degrees i can just see that like a dog or a cat ripping that little emblem on the front off 
E. Still like collecting pins and used to show them off in my backpack during school, but got a banner for that now. They're cool. I mean, are, are they? I don't know. Maybe they are. I, I don't really do shoes, though, so my opinion doesn't really count. Is this going to be like the Tolomeo Review shoe stream? Oh my god, it really is. <laughs> what the fuck are these? Autumn, I know what I want for Christmas. Hold on. We got we to gotta get the Evangelion shoes. Alright, you know what? I'm a sneakerhead now. Fuck yeah, dude. Look at this. I would totally wear this shit. Are you kidding me? But Hit the nut button over and over on that. Wow. What the hell? Do you do you have to panel line them? Can you panel line your shoes? That would be sick as fuck. You have to put on the the water slide decals, customize your 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 shoes. Single alert? How the dude? I'm married. No, this is a marriage alert, dog. The only people who would consider buying this shit are people so confident in their situation. That they don't, they don't even have to worry about it, you know? These are like dad shoes. <laughs> they have blue hair. Someone dies so we can all wear these to your funeral. You get arrested for wearing those? Maybe. So hopeless they gave up long ago. No one ever truly gives up. Well, that's not true. But most people don't. My dad got those shoes. I'd lose it hella confident in my singledom. So sick and no one can tell me otherwise also high. Gotta be super out of touch or just insanely confident. Dog. Alright. Alright. So so I got a problem. When I was saying that I don't understand buying $200 shoes, people were like, oh, you, you know, if that makes them happy, go for it. But now that I want the Evangeli sandwich shoes, it's I'm out of touch. You know? What the fuck ever, man. <laughs> You're not wrong, but fuck off. The taste? I mean... Do you want these? Honestly, no. Um, I don't... I don't think I would ever wear purple shoes. Like, they look cool and it would be funny for the meme, but no, I don't think I want the Evangelion shoes. I don't... The purple is the problem? I mean, maybe, maybe, okay, 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 okay. Maybe you could be like, yo, this is, these are shoes gifted to, like, the winners of the Japanese lean drinking competition. You know, that's why they're purple. I should show you the shoes I want. Hello, SoCal Canuck. Get them in red? I mean, fuck, if we're, if we're sitting here showing each other stupid ass, like, like, shoes and whatever the fuck. I'm sorry, your, your shoes aren't stupid. I'm gonna show you the fucking Gundam I was looking at earlier. We're gonna do this. We're gonna sit here and show each other, like, dumb shit we wanna buy that the other party doesn't care about. Look at this fucking thing. <laughs> like, tell me that thing is not amazing. Like, come on. Ugh. Show us your minecock. This is the PG. Yeah. Yeah. Are those real lights? Yeah, you put LEDs into these. These are the perfect grade unicorns, and they can, they're all... But guess what? You want to know the funny part? $550, but the LEDs are sold separately, so that's really cool, right? Um, no, I, I have this in a different color. I, I basically have this, but not gold, so, like, it's not really... It's not really worth spending money on, even if it is cool. I remember seeing this, though, when I first got into Gundam and was like, Wow! This is the coolest Gundam ever. I want these. The lobster sandals are pretty sick. I want those too. It's like being gay and seeing an attractive person of the opposite sex. What's the name of it? It's the Phoenix Gundam. Um, even if I was even if I was dead set on buying it though, the way these work is this one is is P Bandai, which means you can't just go out and fucking buy it. Um, they print them once in a blue moon and they do pre-orders on a website and you have to sit there waiting for it. I checked, I kept an eye on this one because I wasn't buying it. I was buying something else, but I wasn't buying this. This sold out in less than five seconds. <laughs> like, 
you you have to be there on the second and better hope you do not lag because they sell out literally instantly. Your Gundam fell over again and Daisy is barking at it. Well, she's just going to have to live with that. Uh, thank you, Max, for the 17 months. Also, speaking of which, so tomorrow I'm doing co-op with Russ, but we're doing it on his channel, which is twitch.tv slash Russ underscore money. And we're playing Project Zomboid. Um, I've never played it in my life. I think Max said he was, he was considering joining us, so I guess we're doing fucking Zomboid tomorrow. Uh, but it's going to be on Russ's channel. It's not going to be on mine. So if you're interested in that, I'm not going to be live here today so or uh, tomorrow. So just a heads up. Follow Russ De Niro now. Dude on Amna has a script that can help with Gundam pre-orders. Fuck, of course there is. I've seen some damn funny shit in that game. Hope you have fun, but that game's so boring to me. What time? Oh, probably the usual time. I don't know. Eight. All right, so now I have to show you... Uh, speaking of things that nobody fucking cares about and showing people things that nobody cares about, you are now going to... I'm like a little kid, and I'm going to show you my Minecraft building. Are you ready? We're going we're gonna to play some Minecraft for like five minutes. I'm going to show you uh, what, what I've been doing. I bet you're fucking quaking in anticipation. I bet your cock is is rock hard right now. Let me see. Okay. I'm quivering. What you showed was cool. All right, so let, let me know if you can see the video game. I'm going to explode. I'm quacking so fucking hard right now. The Gundam did that first. All right, so I've been... It took me an entire fucking week to build this piece of shit. Um, I, I've spent a little bit of time on this fucking son of a bitch. <laughs> it's my my wife actually gave me the idea to make a uh, an amethyst tree and i think that it might be my favorite kind of tree ever um i'm so shout out to my wife for the amethyst trees all right so i've got my my stupid ass little sword that i put some some variation of in every one of my builds um <clears throat> sup tolo chat keck w We've got invaders in here. All right, so wait, 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 wait. I actually think this is, like, the complete opposite of what I normally build, because I think the coolest part is actually the in inside. Um, I I made it to where you can, you can see, like, all of this shit. It's, like, this big open chamber. Um, it's... I don't know, dude. I spent a fucking... I've, I've, I spent a week on this bullshit, and I've been... I've been waking up every day thinking, God damn it, I have to finish this fucking thing. I'm glad that I made it small. Um, I, I, I kept it small this time because I never finish my ideas. And I, I actually fucking finished something. So I'm very pleased with that. Oh, fuck. What the hell happened here? Hold on. What the fuck is this? Oh, my God. It's a disaster. The entire thing is fucking... What, what the fuck is this? Oh, it's the kelp, isn't it? Oh my god. We have to... I, see? I'm surprised nobody's blown this shit up yet. You build this? Is it up to code? Probably not. Um, okay, so... Check this out. I really like these walls I made on this side. Let me, let me know what you think. Like, I, I have... Uh, I don't know. I, I build with too much gray, so I actually decided to just use leaves, and it accidentally made... It looks like a fucking little bird surfing on a wave, which is... I, I don't know. It was completely by accident. I never planned anything, but it just kind of turned out that way. What's going on, Aloichu? Reminds me a lot of the interior of your Dragon Quest Builders 2 build. See a dragon? Do you have any secret redstone stuff? No, dude, I've been... I'm afraid the Italians are gonna hate me and, like, like they're gonna sniff me and they're gonna smell a burger and they're gonna, like, kill me. Um, I've been interrogated by a few of them. They'll either say, like, I didn't know something like this was possible or they'll be like, why the fuck are you in creative, bitch? Um, and I don't know, dude. It makes me feel a little bit in danger. I'm not gonna lie. But for the most part, people seem really nice. I just don't understand what anyone is saying ever. 
Is Dragon Quest coming back? No, I'm just... See, I'm, I'm showing my Minecraft build. Physics mod you can add to the game so you can make things structurally sound? I would never use that. Ever. Do not trust Elf. Okay. Start up a black market. Italian counters... I know one word and I don't know how to pronounce it. It's Grazi, which means thank you, I think. Um, and so when someone... No matter what any of them say to me, I just say Grazi. They could be saying, like, you little bitch, I'm going to fuck you in the ass. And I'm just telling them, thank you. Uh, who knows? I don't know. I'm, I think this is probably the best thing I've ever made in Minecraft. Um, I thought that I couldn't make anything cool anymore, but I'm, I'm mostly pretty satisfied with the way this turned out. Um, I have these little... Like, I just have waterfalls and shit fucking everywhere dude what a nightmare all right so and then if you hold on it looks cooler when you look at it from the air like <laughs> dude this shit i've been playing this shit like eight hours a day for like a week and i could not figure out for the life of me what to do with the top and I just said, fuck it, dude. I'm going to make a huge ball of water. I tried different towers. I tried all sorts of shit. And I could not figure out a fucking thing. And so I ended up just making the crystal cum cave, I, I suppose. So, yeah. Ball of water is an amazing touch. I hope the Italians like it. I hope, I hope I've, I've done a... Uh, Maybe, maybe, if, maybe if there are any any of them who are racist against Americans, this will change their mind. It is, it is. The structure is called Tolomeo World Peace. <laughs> Fucking, uh, as Italian, we like it. Okay, that's good. Hello, man, candy. What's up, dude? What do they worship here? I've seen them build a lot of dragons. I think I, so. I'm pretty sure Italians are the weebiest fucking people ever. There's a clan called, called like, Japanese, and it's all just, like, these Japanese fucking temple buildings. There are so many fucking Japanese temples. It's insane, dude. Uh, if you were a weeb, you would be home at this server. Like, I've seen people make, like, Attack on Titan shit. We need to see. I'll see if I can find where they're at. I, I as you can see, I kind of built in the middle of Montgomery. Um, I don't know where the fuck I am. Apparently, they have some sort of waypoint mod that I don't know how to use. But yeah, I'm I'm pretty satisfied with how this turned out. There are a couple fuck ups. Like I think that I didn't I didn't really plan this part too well because if you look at it from here, it just kind of the tower looks kind of stupid. Um in the center but that's really only if you're looking at it from here at one point i was going to put sand and make like a huge coral reef around it but i then decided that i i should value my time a little bit more <laughs> i really just i like that's how far i got i got like three feet of sand i'm like you know what no nah, fuck it mm -mm. lore behind the sword i don't know i just I make a sword for everything that I build. Like, if I'm building a base, it's always got a sword. It's very Final Fantasy X. What is the server? It's uh, Sire Max's server. Well, I don't know if it's his, but it's like... From what I understand, it's like a, like a, like a cabal of Italian streamers, and I'm just like the one random American. There's not a lot of people on now, but it's really funny because if you look up... Uh, if you look up the ping, everyone will have ping numbers such as 5. Or seven, perhaps even three, and I'm always in the triple digit ping, and I'm the only one in the triple digits. Thought it was the master sword. I don't really know what the master sword looks like. Um, I may have accidentally made it. This is the male fantasy. I'm pretty stoked about this. TP to me. I I I will in a sec. Give me a moment. I need to sit here and admire my handiwork. This might be the last time I ever see it, dude. Banjo looks so different now. So, do you think this is cool, or is this dog shit? You can build a giant Gundam to wield the sword. I 
I need to... I need to use... Like, my biggest problem is it just looks so fucking gray. Like, I need to build with shit that is not stone. Um... Because I have to go... I have to try really hard to put, like, water and amethyst and random hedges and fucking bamboo to not make it, like... I know, Sozoi, but I defaulted back to this. I used the black stones in the, uh, the last Ratcraft server, but... I don't know. But at the same time, nobody fucking does, like, gray-ass ziggurats. Feels empty, TBH, is like a monument, not a castle. That's fine. I... I actually was going to make it go up, but uh, I was going to have a staircase here. And then I looked up and realized that there's no way to make it without it looking fucking stupid. So it just became a balcony. I was originally going to make it to where you could traverse every part on foot, but I'm not, I'm not sure how I would have made that look cool. Um, I, and it, a lot of people have asked what the fuck it is. And I don't know. Um, I just built it because I think it looks cool, you know? Alright. A few ways, but easier to see as a third party. Well, I wouldn't want anything to get, like, in the middle. Like, my favorite thing about it is you just come here and it's this huge fucking open space where you see all of all of these these windows and all of the slopes and shit and the lanterns. Like I said, this is like the only thing I think I've ever made in all of my Minecraft uh, building that I like the inside more than the outside. Like, half of the time when I play Minecraft, I don't even do the inside. Like, when we did Ratcraft, I had Chunk Comp and, like, Siphonia and a gang of other people furnish all of the interiors because, uh, you know, I, I've got... I've got, like, massive fucking spires to build. Like, I don't have time for all of this interior design <laughs> bullshit, dude. What's up, Hubert? How are you, dude? Monument to the Blitzball Water Sphere? Yeah, it does kind of look like that a little bit. Except it's got, like, a giant piece of shit, like, glowstone, kidney stone. Um, okay. Oh, God. See, I don't know what's wrong with my Minecraft, but sometimes when I sprint, it's like... <laughs> Um, I don't know. It's fucking weird. The glow looks really nice. I also, I've been afraid of every single administrator on this server, so I haven't managed to work up the courage to ask them to give me those invisible blocks that emit light. So I actually had to figure out how to light it up without putting fucking nonsense everywhere. And, and this was my solution. Uh, you just put a fucking pressure plate over one of the C prisms. And it, and it mostly, it mostly masks them. Um, just, it doesn't affect the light at all. Just put a, a goddamn stone pressure plate on top and you can barely see it. I thank you, Skyblight, for the 77 month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you. Cause I, I like having it lit up, but I hate most of the light sources in the game. All right. I have to TP to TP. Can I not do this? I don't know if I have privilege to TP. Um... Save your X, Y, Z, and TP to me. Let's show your chat my reign. Does it work even if it doesn't... TP cock? Yeah, I don't know. I think I might be stupid. Glow moss is a savior for me. Wait, what the fuck is glow moss? Is... It must be this shit, right? Wow, it's fucking nothing. <laughs> fucking, what is this shit? Dude? How is this shit a savior for you? It's like, I think I finally found something I consider to be less of a savior than Jesus Christ. Um, so shout out to the Glow Moss. And it's light enough to stop mobs. Oh, I got you. The amethyst produced a very small amount, too. Um, I, I use this shit a lot. I really like the purple crystals. Has to be really dark. Carpet also works. But carpet's going to look fucking stupid on the stone, though. Like, I'm, I'm trying to make it inconspicuous. Oh, no, never. Maybe it won't. I didn't realize. 
Oh my god. Fuck the pressure plates. What have I been doing with my life? Holy shit, this changes everything. Well, now I feel like a fucking stooge. Okay, well, can you put carpet, like, on the sides? I don't know. See, I, I don't know how to fucking play Minecraft. It's basic. No, it's not, dude. There's no crack. Although maybe for some people, the crack adds a little bit. Kind of prefer the small line. Of yeah, I imagine some people do. I, I can take it or leave it, but... Oh, man. So I could just put carpet everywhere. Some people tend to like it. I like the crack. Look at this, dude. I put dolphins and fish in here earlier, but they all despawn. And I don't I don't know. how. I think in order to use a name tag, I actually have to play the game, so I'm not going to do that. Fly over here if you can. Oh, God. That's far away, dude. Holy shit. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be flying for like half an hour. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Okay. I'm I'm gonna try, but I don't know. Let me throw a name tag. It said I needed experience though. If you use a literary, you go I don't know what that is. If you are dwarf, you could do slash town spawn. Oh, okay. Says I'm waiting to teleport. See, they. I'm actually a piece of shit because, like, Max invited me to the server so I could be a dwarf. And I was not a dwarf at all. I went to, like, some remote ocean and built, you know, whatever the fuck that was. Do you see how. Like, what is Tempio del Gurren Bamboo Gaming Edition? <laughs> I don't. I can't. I don't. I don't speak this language. What's going on, Lit Rock? I think it's the Bamboo Temple, if I had to warrant a guess. But, yeah, they've built a lot, dude. Like, they, they have made so much fucking shit on this server, it's unreal. Most of it's pretty cool, too. Boku no Pico Temple. Yeah, like, they've been dwarfing out, dude. Like, they, they have... They've made a lot. Survival. I I think that Max's faction uses creative. I know he does. See, I don't know what Resident Evil Massimo Idetto Ilves means. I think he's. Well. Mowgli Circassi No Elfie. I know what No Elfie means. I'm pretty sure I know what No Elfie means. But maybe, maybe I don't. Maybe I have no fucking idea. See, I feel like an immigrant in this server. <laughs> this is giving me more compassion towards towards immigrants in my own country. Because I don't know what the fuck is going on. I don't know what people are saying. He search wife Bologna but no elf wife. Okay. I like how he's not here to acknowledge any of this. Bassy a chi. So, let's take a look around. Is an Italian city? I got you. Dude, there are so many torches, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Like, if you ever want to know what it's like to be an American, if you're, if you're one of the Italian people watching this, imagine this, but instead of torches and a dwarf cave, it's a Motel 6 and the torches are bed bugs. And that's... Oh, holy shit. He looks kind of angry. Yeah, they've made quite a bit of shit. There's no way I could show you everything everyone's made. Um, because I would... I, I do want to play... bit. Wait! There are fucking frogs in this game? When the fuck did this happen? Holy shit. I guess it's been a while since I played this. Huh. Unreal. Yeah, so... You can tell that I don't... I, I only just build gray structures. I don't actually interact with any of the mechanics of the game. 
See another dwarf over here. Sorry, I I, I said this was going to be a Banjo-Kazooie stream, and it will be, but I, I, I do kind of want to look. I enjoy just walking around looking at the stuff people make. There's a lot of good builders on this server. How deep does the cave go? This is actually so fucking sick. This is a dwarf holding up the bridge. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> That's so fucking cool, dude. What the fuck? I think this is dope. Yeah, they, they've made some really cool stuff. What's going on, Kangler? I'm, I'm, I'm exploring the dwarf Minecraft server. I guess this is their little... I don't know what the fuck this is. Okay. Peak Dwarven Architecture. They all roleplay as dwarves. I actually made a fool out of myself because they like to say... They like to say Rock and Stone from Deep Rock Galactic. And they were all saying it in the team chat. And so I wasn't aware that there was a team chat, right? And so I thought it would be really funny to say Cock and Stone, but I didn't say it in team chat. I said it in, like, the global chat, and there were, like, 80 people on. So no one saw the rocks and stones, and the one American just says cock and stone out of nowhere. Uh, <laughs> so, holy shit. I'm good at making friends. His hammer needs to be bigger, but I like this. No, actually, no. It was the perspective. The hammer's fine. Yeah, they've made some sick shit, dude. You got like this dwarven hammer with I like the axe the axe is really cool weird axe no I think it looks sick I I think it's super impressive that they made it diagonally um, I actually struggle so much with diagonal stuff like this so I think this especially is really cool um, the rest of it's obviously cool too but the diagonal axe is tough I just choose not to build diagonally, if at all possible. Does Max play a lot of Dwarf Fortress? I think he does. He he likes Deep Rock Galactic, too. He's played Deep Rock with randoms from my server before. This looks like a gay anime dwarf. It's good, but the his pose, like... Uh, okay. uh. You know? Like, he's submissive as fuck. This is the bottom dwarf. That other one was the top dwarf. This one is ready to be bred, for sure. Like, you're just waiting for him to say, Kia. The hand is a bit sassy. Yeah. He surely has a bigger hammer. He's one of those bottoms that's, like, way more hung than the top, but you just roll with it, right? All dwarves are gay. Sorry, I'm being gross. I'm being weird. My apologies. I got a bread. Bread's pretty good. Wish I could build something cooler than a big box. Fuck, me too, dude. They also have, like, these highways that connect fucking everything. Like, you can see so much crazy shit by just following these roads. To random places. Thank you, Damiaz, for the 46 months. Where you can visit all the other rains with no problems. Alright, let's 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 see. Oh, wait, that's not. Wish I could think... I can never finish either. That's my biggest problem as well. Like, I'll have a, a grand-ass idea and then just never do anything with it. Okay, I feel like I'm... I'm where, where are we going? Are you going to take me somewhere where I'm going to be hurt? That bridge. This one over here. Yes. Okay, let's get a mine cart. How do I... How do I... Alright, dude. You ready for this shit? Let's go, dude. How do I... How do I do it? Oh. How do I do the mine cart? I don't know how to do the minecart, bro. Help me. <laughs> Push me, dude. Please. Okay. Anyone else have trouble fishing? So I don't know how to play this game. I only play creative. I don't know how to do the minecart. Is he trying to have sex with me? Uh-oh. I'm gonna cry? 
God, I'm sorry, dude. I don't know how to do the mine cards. Just press W. I was. Okay, we got it. We got it. I just needed that bit of momentum. See, no, no. That was the game's fault. That wasn't my fault at all. Boomer, dog. I played this game when there wasn't even a survival mode added. There wasn't even water. It was literally, I remember distinctly building, and whenever you wanted a lake or a waterfall, you would use blue wool to emulate water. I know this is some boomer shit, but I, I think I liked Minecraft more back then. It took a lot more imagination. <laughs> and then when they came out with water, it was the worst thing they ever did. Because if you put water on like a certain plane, it would automatically populate until it reached something that blocked it. So if you went to the top of the map and put one water block, the whole map would be flooded. And you would have to use sponges to get rid of all of it. It was completely fucked. <laughs> it was... Like, if you... Imagine if you accidentally broke, like, one wall of a pond, and, like, the entire plane would just get flooded forever, basically. And you couldn't just break the source block, either, of the water. It would just create more source blocks and spread forever. It was... It was a different fucking world, man. They <laughs> should have kept that. I disagree. This is very relaxing. I, I just realized they don't even have the sound on. I'm sorry. Don't worry. We're going to play banjo, I swear. Uh-oh. I remember point one alpha. Oh, no. All right. So, I, I want to show you the funniest thing about this server, for sure. That You've got, like, Elfie. You've got Nani. And then you just have Pog Town. Like, there's this, there's one of these relay stations where all of the areas have, like, very elaborate Italian names. And there's this Pog Town. It's so fucking funny to me, dude. But, yeah. People make some crazy sh Like, look at this fucking thing. Like, what the fuck? These people are psychopaths. These Italian fuckers, they... Hold on. It's him. <laughs> Look at him, dude. He's cute. Sans? No, I actually think that's Papyrus. And John Hollow Knight. So I guess we're just playing Minecraft now. I was actually thinking about streaming building the other thing, but I can't stream building this game because, like, part of my building process is actually just looking at my building for 40 minutes while listening to music to think about how to do it. Because I don't really plan things out that far ahead. So I need a lot of time to, like, mull over what I'm going to do. Fucking long with this take. I'm almost 1,000% sure they just world edit copy-pasted this. Because there's no fucking way you could pay anyone enough to sit here and make this fucking shit manually, dude. I would want to cry. Like, holy fuck. I know people that... I would do it, dude. Like, if I wanted to just make bridges that connected everyone, fuck building that manually. See, look. Parati, Pogtown, Elfie, and Paladini. I don't think I've seen Paladini or Parati, so let's go see. Oh, holy shit, what is this? The White House, nice. I've actually been completely conditioned by Chris... What the fuck? Uh, Christine Weston Chandler, because they used to say this thing where it's like, we don't want to vote for Obama because if Obama gets in the White House, he's going to paint it black. And it's like, hmm. Huh. I, that would be pretty cool. For the record, I think it should be the Black House. I think that would be way cooler. <laughs> the White House, personally. But, uh, you know. I guess there are some connotations there. It's a George Clinton song. Oh, holy shit. Look at this. See, there's just, like, amazing shit everywhere you look. It's, it's pretty cool. I wish that I knew how to build with wood. Turn back and look up. Yeah, I saw it. There's this over here. I think this one is under construction. 
Wood builds are sick. I can't do it. I can only build with stone. I like this. Owned by Lightning Strike instantly. Can't have Cheeto Fingers anywhere near the White House. All right, all right, all right, all right. Best way to learn is to... No, so I actually... All right. I try my damnedest whenever I play a game or I do anything to not look at what people are doing and form my own process. My way of building in Minecraft is probably really shitty looking and stupid, but it's what I, I have done. Like, I don't like looking to other people for inspiration. I feel, I feel awful when I find out a trick uh, from someone that I didn't know. And I know that's not normal, but I try to, like be as original as I can, you know? That's why I don't like building things that are... that have even a, a remote equivalent in reality. That's why my shit looks like ge geometric nightmares that make no sense at all. Literal schizo builds. Oh. Oh. Alright. Banjo. Uh, I guess really quick, uh, thank you. To, to the Italians who were nice to me. I enjoyed playing on, on the Minecraft server. Thanks for having me. I hope you liked my build. Um, Uh-oh, so Little Man's in trouble. So thank you, Italy, for, for throwing the last week of my life into the void. Uh, thank you, Default Winer, for four-month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Zeri, for gifting a sub to Stormus. 100 gift subs. Thanks, dude. Resident Evil 4. I'll go back to Resident Evil 4 eventually. Um, I just... There's so much shit that I want to play right now. Like, I've been wanting to play this banjo shit for a while. And for those of you not familiar, it's not regular Banjo-Kazooie. It's Banjo-Kazooie taking place in the Zelda Ocarina of Time. I played, like, the first hour off stream, and I was like, damn, I should probably stream this. So I'm going to start over so you can see everything, but I'm going to know a little bit about the beginning of the game, so it's not going to be co a completely <laughs> ethical, blind experience. What's up? I can hardly walk, like, literally. Why? I don't know. <laughs> what? Are you buying the lobster slippers? Maybe. I think because I was sitting for so long, brushing stiff out, like, my tailbone's locked up or something. Whenever I step... It, like, just, it hurts so excruciatingly bad that it's hard to walk. Here, let me pop you. I don't know if that's gonna help. It you will. Try. All right, come over here. <laughs> you just screamed into my ear. <laughs> oh. Man pops wife on stream. I mean, that's what husbands are for, right? <laughs> Crack her like a gro a grow stick. You're a grow stick now. Total pop bug. Dude, I'm excited to get back to my fucking Gundam. That really didn't help Shit. the toxics. What? I need to get back on Minecraft because someone built a cool-ass Gundam. It was like my favorite thing I saw on the server, and I have no idea where I saw it. Cold. I'll have to I find it and post you. a picture of it. Yeah. But it's like literally just someone made a Gundam. <laughs> it looks so cool, dude. Oh. Someone said to do squats. I'm going to try. Oh, God. Tell Otter to go lie down and take some ibuprofen. I've been laying down, but that ain't, it's not helping, so I'm gonna try squatting. Doing a Gundam build <laughs> stream of it? No. Oh, I'm playing Banjo-Kazooie, dude. Are you okay? I'm squatting. How many squats do we need to do? Or do we just need to, like, sit in a squat for a few seconds? I have no idea. I'm not a squatter. I don't believe in squatters' rights. Someone on my Steam friends list is called a nice cold Diet Coke. I only have a couple now. I have Probably Lunar three, Pooch. Probably three left, maybe. Let me take a look. I think I remember. Like su like a sumo taking a poop sound. <laughs> I'm sorry. Italy is the boot shaped one? Yeah. <laughs> if you think about it, though, like, okay. Italy was a thing before boots, right? So wouldn't... <laughs> Wouldn't that mean that boots are actually Italy shaped? I don't know. I'm pretty that's... sure that's how it works. I don't know if it's <laughs> actually boots. Okay, first I don't know, dude. <laughs> this is simply too much for me. 
the guy who designed boots must have been on some shit for real. My GF bought me a Diet Coke keychain as the only souvenir from a trip. That's awesome. It's like the little inexpensive things that are like very meaningful that are the best kind of gifts a lot of the time. Probably also the reason why we're all foot fetishes. So why? Hold on. You're a foot fetishist? That's weird. Italy is where they filmed Ratatouille? So? Oh, <laughs> the Italians are gonna hate us if you keep laughing at that. <laughs> it was a good joke, my. There, I saw it. Paris is my favorite city in Italy. <laughs> Otter kink shaming me. No, she's laughing at the idea of ratatouille being. In... <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that ratatouille was in it. Was in Paris. Oh. Sorry. It is. Where's Paris? Holy shit! It's been an hour and a half. I need to fucking... I need to play some Banjo-Kazooie, dude. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't realize it had been so long. Thank you for humoring my Minecraft segment. <laughs> like, holy shit, dude. All right, all right, all right. Let me know if you can see in here and it's like a good volume and everything. Game 2 empty. Yeah, just like my head. Wait, it's in France. I just realized. Okay. You can No volume? There's no volume? Can't hear? Alright, hold up. You should be able to hear it. One sec. Maybe you have to do capture. Different no, it's just of... turned low, I think. Alright, what about now? Alright, you guys ready for like five hours of. Wait, let me do the. the, the bird. Okay. That was pretty good. Ikum bokum. Ikum bokum. That was fucking horrible. <laughs> Holy shit. You need to. Ikum bokum. To... <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm gonna go. No, that's okay. Dude. Why is this bed so big? Dang. I'm jelly. It's for Daisy. Why is it just. So big, Jesus Christ. Dude, look at this shit. This is gross. Get this bear out of the sink. It's the it's the pee sink. Unbearable hygiene. Oh fuck, dude. <laughs> I, I I hope I can get. Oh no, there's a jinjo in here. Okay. Made this all from scratch. Turn it up just a bit, please. Is it still quiet? All right, you guys aren't going to make me read all the bottles dialogue, right? I thank you, Moonlight Merchant, for the 55 months. I appreciate it. Okay. It should be good now. Read it or else? I'm not going to read it, bro. Please read the lore. But I'll be speaking over them. Gotta read it all. Oh, my God. You have to read it in their voices. I don't want to do that. Get that at a Caroni stream. What's going on, Stale? <laughs> Guys, I did uh, squats and it still hurts. What do I do now? <laughs> Probably lay down. Maybe have you if you like take a hot bath. That's usually pretty good for like aches and stuff. Oh shit! Oh no. Okay. Well. I fucked up. He asked me to do something and I literally didn't read it. Oh, fuck it, dude. But look at this. This is sick, right? Eggs! 
Oh my god. I fucking love Banjo, dude. Look at this rock. You need to play Okami one day. Man. Maybe. They also do the Bel- uh, I almost said Belgian. <laughs> well, what? the- The Banjo You good? Speak. Well, I mean, that's probably what Belgian sounds like to me anyways. Um... Okami's the greatest game of all time. I think Die the Bunny is. Like, I'm sorry, but I just, I just don't think. Don't even joke. No, <laughs> like. Die the Bunny was terrible. Die the Bunny was really cool. I've always wanted to play a game as a little girl that gets devoured by her parents. Yeah. I love the Belgian language. Yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> oh. Was it enough cannibalism? I like Belgian waffles. We can get Lost Woods music. We'll see. This is the whole Ocarina of Time. Apparently so, or a good a good portion of it. What's good, Cool 109 Love? How are you, dude? You you staying on the straight and narrow? And six extra honeycombs in the Lost Woods. They'll help a lot if you're clever enough to find them. Gorsh. That's a lot of tunnels. Where do we even start? Begin by going to the left. Careful, though. Going in the wrong tunnel will bring you back to Kokoro Village. Oh, my goodness. Always on the straight and narrow? I believe you. Okay. Managed to snag a pre-order for the Neo Zeong narrative? Oh, my God. <laughs> Cipharoni, why didn't you buy me the Phoenix, dude? What the fuck? Come on. Mole talking looks like a derp. Yeah, he's a piece of shit. Cipharoni, don't you talk about not having enough space for your Gundams? And you bought a Neo Zeon. That thing's like three feet tall, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, which button was it? I know it's Z, but I forgot which which button I put Z on to on my controller. This is exactly like nuts and bolts. Hell yeah, dude. Gonna put it on my kitchen table? Yeah, it'll be like you... Oh, I see what this is. This is empty nest syndrome. You miss Kurt. And you need, you need Kurt in the form of a Gundam. Oh god, dude, can you tell I'm good at Banjo-Kazooie? This is gonna take some getting used to. Gundams are her songs now? Hey, you know? That's alright. Oh, 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 oh! Oh! Get ready! Shut the fuck up, honeycomb! Ika boka. Remember Banjo Kazooie is the game you're. I, I like Banjo Kazooie, dude. Are you, you you're not gonna fucking complain about Banjo Kazooie, are you? Banjo Kazooie is the shit. Okay, let's see what this fucker wants here. I'm not complaining, just curious. Okay. I've been talking about it for a few weeks now. Why is Banjo in the Kokiri Forest? I just had to get through like Resident Evil. And, um, whatever the fuck else I've been doing, I guess. Why is Banjo in the Kokiri Forest? What do you mean, dude? He belongs here. It's only 550, Cifferoni. Come on. Ah. Uh. What are you playing after this, Tuomio? Haha, no offense, I freaking hate stupid baby games with stupid babies. Well, you'll be pleased to know that we're playing Virtual Villagers. Every, and, and, uh, Zoo Tycoon too. What's up, Blueberry? Alright, so get this. I'm gonna fully admit to being a casual here, because like I said, I played through this part on my own. It took me forever to figure out what to do here. And I actually looked it up. Like, I'm not gonna lie to you. I, I actually sought outside help because I was so flummoxed on what to do. 
So check this out. Where the fuck is it? There's like a fucking invisible, like, you have to go through the leaves into this random fuck off tunnel and it took me forever to figure that out, dude. Like, I could not, I could not find that on my own. Oh. I was sitting here like, am I fucking stupid? Is this, is it me or the ROM hack? Uh, thank you, Joel Jutsu. You just missed the Minecraft stream. We just played Minecraft for like 30 minutes. I, I finished my fucking building that I had no help uh, from from Misa Coco. I was under threat of Italian terrorism today. Max told me that PvP was enabled and they were going to blow up my structure. Um, and so I made sure to finish it today. I didn't want my, my thing to get blown up, dude. That would have really sucked. You played this one before? I played the first hour. And then I was like, oh shit, I kind of want to stream this. The Ika Bokum dog just had her fourth anniversary. Cool. Ika Bokum dog. Nisa always lets Tolo down. That's okay. That's okay. I, I, I know that Nisa hates me because she wouldn't order me a pizza. All I want is a pizza, Nisa. And she wouldn't- this coastal elite won't get me a pizza. And I don't want a pizza from anyone else. I wanted it from Misa because she's a Californian coastal elite. And I feel like she owes me reparations. But she wouldn't. Or, no, I don't want a pizza from you. You're- no. Cifferoni and cheese, you you are unemployed right now. You're not allowed. You need to unsub actually. Unsub and get Misa Coco to gift you a sub. That's how it works. I'm told the power bottoms are actually top psychologically. Misa owes you reparations. No, I don't because I played League of Legends with you. The Italians are watching. Stay alert about what you say on pizza. Why? Hold on. Fuck you, little fucker. Not, not you, Dennis. I like pizza, man. I like pizza. I think pizza's pretty good. Pizza's an American thing, how you fucking Italian. That's not true. I do feel like Italian pizza and what Americans call pizza are probably not even remotely similar at this point. Um... You know what I mean? Like, it's, they've just gone down two different roads and they're not really all that similar to the point where they may as well be different things. Then again, I don't know how much they could change pizza. But then again, I've eaten a pizza where it was no sauce, no cheese, and it was just bread with, like, hamburger baked into it. It was like a fucked up pizza meat pie. It was honestly one of the worst things I've ever eaten, too. Like, I really fucking hated that. Born in Naples where the best pizza was born? What you said? Nah, dude, the best pizza was born at Pizza Hut, bro. Come on. <laughs> like, what, what, what is this guy talking about? Naples? What the hell is that? Is that, like, some shitty Domino's special? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just joking. Naples, Florida. Dude, it's so funny. There's a place called Italy, Texas, like 20 minutes from where I live. I actually don't like Italian pizza that much, unless it's just cheese, because I don't really like most of their toppings, although their dough is good. Oh my god. We're, we're gonna piss all of the Italians off. And there's a massive Italian population where I'm at, and the pizzas can be pretty different. Everyone on the servers, really from Italians, are hung. Okay. Best piece of my life, 20 minutes away from Naples, Florida. A lot of what are apparently Roman-style pizzas lately. Oh, I fucked up. 
I hope you can forgive me for fucking up. I wish Italy was real, me too. Only experience with an Ital Italina penis flies in the face of Joelle's assessment. We need a Cifferoni who has to emo, for sure. Like, I feel like that is necessary. Oh my god, I don't have the roll. My Naples, Napoli, not Naples, Napoli. <laughs> Hello, Apollyon. What's- Oh my god, dude, I can't even walk! Like, I'm so bad at this shit. Teach me how to shoot the eggs, motherfucker. Hello, that's a very nice cat. Search Napoli pizza on Google, you guys. Okay, we- Let's see. I'll, I'll humor you. We're gonna- wait, wait, why are we timing people out, Misa? What the fuck are you doing? I- I'm gonna- I'm gonna add Italy to the search, just so it's not like some fucking Domino's bullshit. Okay, so let's- let's bring this up on stream. This is this pizza. I- I gotta say it honestly, like, I- like, throw some pepperonis on that bitch, and that shit looks pretty damn good. Um, that does look really tasty. Fuck. I just, I need, I need pepperoni. Like, I need some meat on it. I can't just do cheese and bread. Just an onion simulator? You could take that off. You're making me die? Why? Because I want to put pepperoni on it? <laughs> Why does that make you want to die? Oh, hell no. Nah. <laughs> I'm going to get like an Italian airstrike on my house for wanting pepperoni on my pizza. Fuck. Is any meat allowed? So you can only have it as is. You're not allowed to make any, any amendments to the pizza, huh? I don't know. The crust looks really fucking good. The crust looks delicious. Show others, go, go, go. What do you mean? What are you saying? What you were saying will be written on the book of grudges of the dwarves. Hello, we forget, but we don't forget. I just like pepperoni, dude. Come on. Okay, okay. Like, is is pepperoni forbidden in Italy? Like, are you legitimately like not allowed to eat pepperoni over there? I'm from Chicago, give me that deep dish. I think pepperoni's good, man. Like I don't I don't know why we're we're Bring more pizza. Okay. okay. Let's see. Oh hold on. Napoli pizza pepperoni. Is this spicy dude spicy pizza sounds good. Okay, so this this looks really fucking good. Hold up, hold up. I think, I think this still technically counts. See, I don't know the difference enough to tell if the images that I'm finding are, like, actual good examples. But this shit right here looks fire. Like, I would fucking destroy this thing. It looks so good. Oh, my God. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Search Napoli Vesuvio pizza. Okay. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> They're trolling, dude. They're trolling. Hold up. Hold up. is that dude <laughs> holy shit <laughs> what the fuck I would be so pissed at oh my god <laughs> I'm 
gonna cry. Oh, oh fuck. <laughs> what? Hold on, hold on. Look, look. We need to do. We need to do an FBI zoom enhance. What the fuck is this shit? Oh. Oh. Oh my god. Oh. I don't. Okay, so I guess this one is not. Not the, the true and authentic pizza. <laughs> okay, hold on. This one's even worse. Hold up. Hold up, dude. This looks like a fucking... Like, a, you're playing Dragon Quest and they reskinned a slime as, like, a pizza. <laughs> like... What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. It's got a growth on it. Oh, holy shit. I'm sorry, dude. Italy fucking hates me now. <laughs> like... Holy shit. Oh, is that a pizza stream now? Oh. No one tell him no we're playing it like this, dude. Welcome to the banjo stream. Here? Oh, God. That's a link. Are you are you trying to give me MSI Afterburner? Um, I don't. Nice redirect notice. I don't know what what it is. I'm supposed to be like. I don't. I'm a stupid American. I just need a picture. I don't know what to do with the article. Oh, wrong. Dude, what the fuck? Okay, nah. You know what? I was trying to be nice. I was trying to... I really was. This shit in America... In America, we do these things as kindergartners where we make, like, a volcano for science fair and it, like, it like ejects shit. That's... Dude, this is literally what that is. But, like, it's edible, dude. What the fuck is that? Oh, my God. Christ almighty, <laughs> What the fuck? Holy shit. I want to go to Italy now. Tolos tell me they're bombing my temple in Minecraft as we speak, dude. Holy shit. My own personal 9-11 is happening right now. Oh, fuck. Okay, I need- I need to, like... Can I... I need to figure out the camera situation. Hold up. There we go. Oh, fuck. Holy shit. It's also really weird to see Max chastising Kyle, because my name's Kyle, so I feel like he's talking to me. Oh, fuck. Everything revolves around me, you know. I no, I would eat all of that, but, like, honestly, dude, if I went to a random pizza place, not knowing what to expect, and they gave me that piece of shit starfish, like, I would cry. I would be so distraught, dude. I don't know what the fuck that was. That was insane, dude. <laughs> what the fuck was that? I don't know where the last honeycomb is. I respect the craft. I'm be able to stop laughing. What's inside the pregnant pizza? Dude, we've made... It's like two hours into the stream and I've made no progress in Banjo. I admit that the magic stock pizza's got me too. Dude, what the fuck was that? What's going on, Anu? Oh, I actually, like, that That was the hardest I've laughed in so fucking long, because I had no idea what to expect, and it was just this, this delicious, stupid starfish. It was like the Ned Flanders of pizzas. Oh, fuck, dude. Heart-shaped pizza made in the trash? Dude, my mom used to get me, like, heart-shaped, uh, sandwiches. She, I didn't like crust, so she'd cut me peanut butter and jelly sandwiches with like little, shaped like little hearts. Oh, fuck. 
I'm gonna choke. <clears throat> Ooh. Where the fuck? There's supposed to be six in here, right? Delicious stupid starfish is what I call my toilet cylinder. It, it would have cost you zero energy to not say that, you know? Oh my god. Uh -huh. I'm never finding this honeycomb. I have to, dude. I can't leave without finding all the honeycombs. You ever tasted your own butthole, Sifra? What the fuck? Well, I've seen some new names from Max's stream. This is what it's like. My moderators are insane. Like, the Misa, Coco, and Cifaroni, watch out for them. And also, if you're Italian, I gotta warn you. You gotta be really, really afraid of one mod named Jenna, because she likes to, she likes to abduct young European men. Um, you gotta be really careful. She wants to turn all, all European men into cat boys. So if you see her, watch out. The segment of the stream is fucked. <laughs> Show me you power. <laughs> what the? Why are you flipping me, dude? I've never wanted to be a European man more. <laughs> Aren't European men already cat adjacent, are they? You think so? Okay, so let me think. We got the one here. I guess I'm not clever enough to find the sixth one. I, I could have sworn I found it when I was playing this last time, but I don't I don't really recall where it was. Europe has men. Yeah, we have like a Apollyon. He's our he's he's one of our best European men. He's made like all of the emotes. <laughs> oh, come, come on, dude, you can't. You can't flip all of the fucking mods. That's not nice. We love kindness here. Alright. We're not gonna worry about this for now. Let's go out. We got shit to do. I feel like a ton of work went into making this. Oh, absolutely. I'm one of the best men in this chat? Yeah. I'm gonna burst into treats? Why? This is off topic, but I'm so curious if there's anyone that found the stream through the wholesome tab. I wonder if they found the wholesome they were looking for. Well. There are multiple definitions of wholesome. Because he. Oh, he doesn't mean that. Go I'm gonna go to bed tonight. I'm gonna lay my head down on the pillow and start snoozing. And I'm gonna think of that fucking pizza. And I'm just gonna start laughing. Hello, Brentilda. Hello again, young ones. I've come to Hyrule to aid you in defeating my nasty sister. I have clues about each area of Hyrule which will surely help you in your adventure. Each time you find me, I'll give you three clues. Press B to hear them. Hmm. Uh-oh. Oh, goddamn pizza. Yeah, this stream definitely got some holes. I've got a lot of holes in my head. Make the Patrick pizza an emote. That would be one of the most nonsensical emotes ever. Oh, I fucking missed. What a god. Holy shit, look at this, dude. It's like the first ever Parkinson's... Banjo Kazooie stream. It's amazing. Thank you all to me for yeah. Thank you for bringing in the the star pizza. I don't know if I could have gone on living my life without seeing that. I'm gonna be trying Dracula. I don't I don't know if I'm going to do it, but I'm gonna try. 
Had that piece of the stream wallpaper? I, I could. I could do that. Is there an opposite to sissy hypnosis? Macho mesmerism or some shit? <clears throat> Excuse me, I got like a frog in my throat. What the fuck? Let it out. I laughed too hard. Made that pizza after SpongeBob made Patrick take his position in the kitchen and change Krabby Patty recipes. Hold up. Hold up. Oh! Go uh -huh. A Minecraft frog? So I didn't know that Minecraft had frogs. That's so cool. I want to learn how to elongate into my clit into a phallus. This is fucked up. <clears throat> you can just play like video games or something? That's what I'm saying, dude. Thank you, Ashlyn, for the 59 months. Uh, Cifroni, shut up. Damn. Damn. Let's take testosterone. They just let me hear y'all make some noise. What if we all had Tolokan in Vegas? That would be cool as hell, right? Yes, a Paul hand. Seems most appropriate. Texas Hold'em? Nah, dude. The only Texas Hold'em I do is when I'm idly at my computer, my left hand is always holding my cock. That's the only Hold'em I play, brother. Dude, I got three Jinjos. Can I fucking... No. Can we have the Tolucon Breeding Pit in the Red Light District? Nuh-uh. Nope. Only if it was in a single hotel room that everyone has to sleep in? That would be miserable. What if you had to sleep next to Cifferoni? Let's see this noodle. Where is it? Dude, oh my fucking god. Come on, dude. Oh, alright. We're gonna play a hidden object game. There's, there's a strange and unusual topping in this pizza. Can you find it? <laughs> Is it the pepperoni? No! Read the chat. <laughs> what the fuck is the chat? <laughs> oh my god. What the fuck? Is that supposed to be gross? I, I don't know if gross is the word I would use. It looks strange, but I think I would try it too. I mean, I haven't had very many pieces that I've just outright hated, you know? Fucker. Okay, jeez. Sorry, this is the worst Banjo Kazooie speedrun ever, dude. Hard to fuck up. He's also, by the way, I'm, I'm gonna keep announcing it. Uh, tomorrow, I'm streaming, but not on my channel. We're going to be on Russ's channel, twitch.tv slash Russ underscore money. We're going to be playing Project Zomboid. Um, I've never played it before, but Russ has. Um, should be fun. I think Max is joining us, and that is going to be fucking, like, holy shit. What a, like, the three musketeers playing Project Zomboid. And I'm, I'm still going to be thinking about that fucking pizza the entire time. Thank you. Honk, hole, clussy god for gifting a sub to Cactorm, All Fail, Stale, Delta Rogue, and McGhosterson. Th thank you. 
Honk hole Clussy God. Is that oh my god. Is that like Russ's equivalent of Cifferoni and cheese? Uh-oh. Honk hole Clussy God. Christ almighty. Sometimes I really hate that I can that I'm literate, you know? Holy shit. The waterfall. Hello, hello, what's up? Literacy is a curse? It really is sometimes. Not texting enough. Jinjos are... No, dude, Jinjos are awesome. We had a rat that we named Jinjo once upon a time. It was a very nice rat. What the... What the heck is this? I hate these guys, dude. I hate their stupid fucking face that they make. And their weirdly feminine looking eyes. Do you think anyone ever, like, had a, their sexual awakening to one of these? I hope not. Me right now? That made that makes such a gross fucking noise, dude. So wait, oh I see. American adult. So I actually knew knew two people who were illiterate in my time, uh, being in in church stuff. A lot of a lot of us church kids were homeschooled, and two of them were were so bad off that they they legitimately didn't know how to read or write when they were 18. There's Majora's Mask in the background. I don't know what happened to the younger one, but the older one ended up, like, he ended up, he's got a, a pretty good life. He's, he's got a kid, he's married now, he, he taught himself, like, he tried real hard, uh, and he's literate now, he's perfectly fine, but, like, that seems like such a dog shit start to life, is, like, your parents not teaching you how to fucking read, I can't imagine, dude. Because I was also homeschooled, but my parents at least had had the courtesy to teach me basic literacy abilities. R. Kelly is illiterate and is sad because he can't read his fan mail in jail. Dad was an incredibly slow bad reader when he got out of high school, probably part of English being a second language, but he's much better now. Yeah, there's some of us who can barely read, even though we've been doing it all our lives. Woo! Imagine being Italian illiterate, though. I know, I know Grazi. I, they also really like Madonna. They say that a lot. I'm not sure why they why they like Madonna so much, but you, I'll be in Max's stream and he'll just be like, Madonna! And I'm just like, damn, dude. I'm, like, I'm expecting him to start singing like a virgin. And I just, it never comes. And I don't either. It's miserable. Favorite Madonna song is Vogue. All right, you fucking mole. You just watch the stream. You can't understand. Yeah. I mean, if I talk, they speak to me in English. I can see the gameplay. Oh, hold on, I'm listening to this tree. I like the way he talks. Did you ever gape your b-hole in the bathroom mirror and looked in it? No, that's weird. And honestly, okay, so here's the thing. With Max... <laughs> fuck, dude, that was fucked up. This guy has so much to say. He's putting me to sleep. Why are you bringing up Max? Because I just... People asked if I... Or Gumjar asked if I watch a stream that I can't understand. No, I don't understand a fucking thing outside of things that I can in infer from context clues. Um... Holy shit, this is still going. Please stop talking. Each one there are 10 jiggies and 100 notes. Mm-hmm. 
Aha. Mhm. Aha. No, I like his stream because he has a certain energy to him, and it's, he's funny even if I don't understand what he's saying. And when I go in there, he will teach me, like, about various things from Italy. Like, he, like I'll send him fucking Foam Adventure, and I found out none of the Italians knew what Foam Adventure was. Or, like, the Brony McDonald's video. And, but then he'll show me, like, this fucked up Italian cringe video. And it's like, it's like a cultural exchange, dude. <laughs> it's just fucking... Would you eat this? Should I look up Foam Adventure? You should. It's a good video. It's a very good video. Please share Italian cringe. I wish I could, but I don't know what it's called. He, he showed me this one where it was like... I guess the Italian equivalent of Billy Mays, but he was like an asthmatic who couldn't speak, so, so, like, or he couldn't breathe. He could speak, but he'd take, like, these deep breaths. And they made, like, a super cut of this guy going, <gasps> <laughs> Like, it was so funny, dude. That, that was his gimmick, I guess. Like, I want to watch someone sell me something while they're trying to desperately gasp for air. And it's just, it's, it's magical. Oh, fuck. Did I miss it? And there was another one where there's, like, this stuffed animal making, like, awful farting noises. Apparently, I... There's, like, a part of Italy that has this tradition where... When you turn 18, you do, like, a music video with some random crisis actor woman <laughs> pretending to be your girlfriend. And, and you, you've got, you're dressed in the suit, and you're, like, Jason Bourne, and you're singing a song. Can, Max, can you link me that one? I want to show them that one, dude. <laughs> Please show me that video. I, I we're gonna watch a random fucking video, dude. Oh, oh my god! Holy fuck, dude! He's just like me for real. Oh my god! He hasn't been able to climb. <laughs> okay, this. Let, I guess we're gonna watch a fucking YouTube video, or we're at least gonna skim through it. This has been a very disorganized stream, but fuck it, this shit made me laugh. Hold on, let me make sure. With Kroger Pickup? OBS browser always gives me ads, sorry. I know it's loud, hold on, hold on, hold on. Photo in di Carlo Carciotto. What the fuck is this? Okay. This is apparently like what you do when you're 18 in Italy. Is you make this fucking video. Can you imagine? <laughs> this shit's so awesome, dude. I wish I was as cool as this guy. Being culturally insane? No, I legitimately think it's cool. I wish I got to do this. The dramatic fucking music. They're not his kids. It's like his siblings, dude. Just wait. It gets better. I hope he didn't say anything racist.
scordare i tuoi occhi non posso mai dimenticare il tuo viso il tuo sorriso ho tenendo this is a crisis actor you can see <laughs> ho trovato l'amore da quando ho ricevuto la tua lettera dove mi fai capire che sei sola le tue parole parlano d'amore vorrei ci dare ridurre insieme a me da quando ho ricevuto la tua lettera vorrei amore esserti vicino you can't say chills, dude. Come on. <laughs> Come on, dude. A woman that ages only after his sperm. You can't say that. Hello, Dan. What's up, dude? No, Joelle. Looking forward to some banjo kazooie. I'm sorry, dude. Got bad news for ya. Da quando ho ricevuto la tua lettera, dove mi fai capire che sei sola? E tue parole parlano d'amore, ma riuscirò a ridurre con me. Da quando ho ricevuto la tua lettera, vorrei amore esserti vicino e dirti che ti voglio tanto bene. I like it. I like it. I think he's good. You're talking shit, but you didn't have a crisis actress on, under your arm when you were 18. Did you? Quando ho ricevuto la tua lettera, dove mi fai capire che sei sola? Ti amo, ti amo, ti amo, ti amo. Purgatory is just this song over and over. So what do you, what do you guys think? Actress or no? So if you were wondering why I watch Max's stream, that's why. Definitely a sister. That girl cannot be his GF. Actress, real. Cousin, hostage. Sister, actress. Side hugs only. Is <laughs> rat shitting in the chair? Yeah. He totally is, dude. Got Nicado avocado in squirrel form. Is there a tier list of songs used to torture Middle Eastern insurgents in caves? This would be mid-A tier. I don't think it's that bad. Like, straight up, I can think of a number of songs right now that I could put on that would make half of you leave the stream. Like, it's... That really was, was not too bad compared to, like, Cyrax or King Cobra music or Justin RPG or, fuck, even Chris Chan. It was a little long. Yeah, it was mostly just repetitive. But it wasn't that bad. That's fucking terrible, Pancor. Uh-oh. Nuclear Throne is fine. I've been meaning to play that game for, like, Half of my adult life. One day. One day. Max, are you still here?
we need to do... Oh, fuck, that's right. We need to do a stream where we just get in, like, a Discord voice call and show each other horrible shit from our countries. And that's, like, the entire stream. Like, you show me Vincenzo, like, graduation party or whatever the fuck, and I'll show you, like, Foam Adventure. <laughs> and we'll see who taps out first. They have just an RP. I don't know, dude. I'm sure they've got some crazy shit over there in Italy. Like you gotta, you gotta tell your chat like get the worst shit possible, um, and get ready, and we'll have a battle to see who can bring the most terrible nonsense. I, I, I gotta say, I don't, I don't think that Italy has anything like Cyrax. I think America has uniquely fucked in the head individuals, but I could definitely be wrong. And I probably am. Check for the song tool. I already sent it the link above. I don't know if I'm ready for another song, brother. <laughs> I don't know, dude. I think, uh, I think I'm still reeling from, from Vincenzo. Could Italy have a Florida man? Show him Scooter Mary. What's going on, Crumbly? You ready? I, I I don't have my fucking... You know? How am I supposed to fight him without the... Okay, you bitch. What, this fucker's immune to eggs? Fuck you. Swamp people of Florida. We need to show him the fucking video of the whale explosion. I feel like that's a quality video that everyone needs to see. Which The one where they fill it up with like dynamite on a beach and just blow the bitch to kingdom come. That's a good video right there. That's a global thing? Are you are you sure? I mean, that wouldn't surprise me, I guess. Grantus ears, oh, is it not is it not playing the volume? Oh, I guess it's quiet because I turned it down for the video. My bad. My bad. I'm I'm a pro streamer, by the way. Oh, okay, so wait, what the fuck? Alright. I need to get up here. I can't really see very well. Hey, thank you for the raid, Squilla Killer. What's up, dude? How you been? Been a while since I've seen you. Hope everything's good. We are um This is this might be the worst place you could have sent these people. It is a fucking madhouse of nonsense today. Even even worse than it usually is. Oh, God. We're watching, like, Italian cringe videos and whatever the fuck else. Banjo stream again? Yeah, what's going on? Okay. No! Oh, my God. I'm a fucking stooge. All righty. Chicken with pasta? I like shrimp more personally, but chicken's pretty good too. I'm a big shrimp head. Love to eat shrimp. I even have pet shrimp, but I don't eat those most of the time. Fall Guys moment? You're a fucking boobarb? Don't call me that. It's fucked up. I don't know what I've done to incur this sort of abuse. I thank you for the one year resub. What did you get me for our anniversary gift? Oh, God. Okay, I know just the thing. I, I was prepared earlier. Okay, I, do you like pizza? You're a, you're a pizza guy, right? Look, look at this pizza. Would you eat this piece of shit, dude? This is this is the anniversary gift. This this fucking thing is so. God, I. <laughs> Oh, I would eat it too, but I, I don't know I don't know how much I'd enjoy it. I've I've been I've been abducted by Italians. I was playing Minecraft with Italians for like a week 
And we, we've sort of had a cultural exchange tonight, and they told me to Google this pizza. And I was expecting, like, something that was going to make Pizza Hut, Papa John's look like absolute dog shit. And it was like a star pizza, and I couldn't believe my fucking eyes. <laughs> it was not what I expected, dude. How would you go about eating that? I think you pull it off, like, point by point, like a calzone. But, I don't know. That does seem a little rough. Truby, you can't say things like that. Come on, dog. Napoli Vesuvio? Yeah, I, I'm probably butchering the pronunciation. I'm sorry. Squilla, you like banjo? A cow song? I don't I guess cows like to sing. The fork and knife is pretty common for pizza. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, I actually have a question for Italians. It's my favorite childhood game. Good man. I fucking love banjo as well. Have you have you seen this? They they make ROM hacks for banjo now, and some of them are pretty cool. Um, pizza question. How do you feel about the the freaks who eat it crust first? Like, that's fucking weird, right? No one does that? No, they do. They 100% do. What the fuck do they even exist? They do. Crust first is okay if you're a serial killer. They're doing it for the joke? Alright. Can we talk about... How... I, I don't really feel like most people doing things for jokes are really joking at this point. Like, I, I do still believe in jokes, but, like, when you take it that far that you're eating pizza crust first, is it? it's not a joke. You're doing it. You know? That's just your life at that point. It's not common. I always eat it crust first. No. That's really weird. It's just a joke, bro. Yeah, you can't just do heinous things and pass it off as a joke. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I, I don't know where I get the roll ability. Like, not having the roll or the... the <laughs> is, is really fucking cramping my style right now. Oh, no. I'm gonna miss this. I totally fucking... Oh, my God. It's okay. I need to hit this anyways. Good luck, man. Yeah, it's good to see you again, dude. I hope you've been well. Thank you again for the raid. I usually eat the first three pieces normally and the last piece starting from the crust because I want to have in my mouth the flavor of the pizza, not some burned bread. Bronies came to be from watching MLP as a joke. That's true. You got to remember the brony shit started as a joke and now it's like... It is not much of a joke at all. Okay, I actually have a, an Italy question. Are there Italian bronies? You guys don't have that shit, right? There's no way. What the fuck? What do you mean, what the fuck? It's a valid question. Of course they're Italian bronies. They call them ironies. They don't do that. That's not real. Started not eating pizza crust when I was 32. I love pizza crust, dude. That's the best part. Okay, you want to know one of life's simplest pleasures? Stuffed crust pizza in the refrigerator, and then the next morning after a long night of drinking, you eat the, the cold stuffed crust. Oh my god, dude. I want to get pizza now. There were Italian weaves. Okay, so the reason I'm asking that question specifically is I'm... The brony thing legitimately started as a psyop. There were people who were, like, pretending to be a brony. It wasn't a real thing. But when you pretend like that, inevitably you, you're going to attract and create people who end up believing it. And that's how bronies came to be. It was literally a 4chan psyop. And then it became a real thing. And, you know, fast forward a few years later, you have you have bronies going to, like, My Little Pony conventions asking the voice actresses if they know what clopping is. It's a madhouse. What's going on, Val? And 
I'm gonna assume all of you know what clopping is. If you don't, you probably shouldn't look it up. You had to quarantine that shit? Yeah. Don't need to know, thank you. Need heap in the phantom at one point, of course I know. Alright. Wait, hold on, what is this? It's Dinky King Country. I've done my fair share of clopping the past couple of decades. I should have guessed that you were a brony. The last gin jump. Come here, you beautiful blue best third. Alternate between crust and middle parts so you don't end up with only crust. Kyle, what is that link, dog? Come on. That shit's a war crime. <laughs> I, I like Kyle. I like him a lot because I know that he's doing the same thing I do whenever I need pictures. He's just Google image searching stupid bullshit. I do the same fucking thing. I thank you, Creepy's House, for 25 months. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Why must there be another Kyle? There are three of us now. Certified Kyle? Kyle's, Kyle's the best name. Come on. Everybody loves Kyle's. Let me decline this thing. It doesn't even link to anything, it's just an Italian psyop. I need to get up here, but how? Everybody loves me? Yeah, he's humble too. We love a humble king, as Joel would say. I need five more notes. All right, if you were if you were a note in the Kokoro village, where would you be, chat? What's up, baby? I have come to say goodnight. Okay. Love you. Hmm. Probably wherever the last honeycomb is. No, that's in the woods. Like that, you can't take your notes over there, as far as I'm aware. You get the spot you need a magic beam for. That'd be pretty cool if magic beans were a thing in this. See, kiss me on Dracula. Asked me if I was going to get all of the notes, and I don't want to be a, an embarrassing disappointment. I gotta get all the notes, right? Where the fuck are they? Hold up, hold up. You know there's a Kyle subreddit that bans anyone not named Kyle? That sounds like a good place to be. Okay. It's funny how much my head feels like it's going to explode when I haven't taken my allergy meds. That's not that funny. There's a Kyle inside all of us. Tolo, show the Italians this video. What is this? Dancing Roach live in a concert. Truby, come on. We need to show them, like, Foam Adventure or Cyrax or... I don't know. Just the terrible shit. I cannot find these notes, brother. Even though I know it could never happen in real life. I think I'm gonna have a brain aneurysm from this stream, dude. See-through green N64 controller? I miss the see-through technology. Uh-oh. I'm gonna stop looking at chat. I'm just running into walls. Barely even playing the game. DSP's review of Final Fantasy XIII. Oh my god. See-through controller fad blew my mind as a child. Yeah, it was amazing, right? 
How do you eat a bull penis by accident? Because she didn't know what a bully stick was. I guess she just thought it was something you ate if you wanted to bully the girls at your school, but it was, you know... What a freak, right? Fuck did I miss? We're talking about weird stuff again. Although I guess that kind of implies that we ever stop talking about weird stuff. Have you guys ever considered, like, what if we had a stream where we did a challenge to not say anything insane or, like, weirdly sexual or, like, any profanity for, like, an entire night? Just for one night. Literally could not happen. We, okay. I think if we banned Cifferoni, we'd have a chance. What the fuck? Yo. There's a molester up there. I came in here looking for notes. And I got this son of a bitch. Bit on you. It's not nice. Is that Bond from Goldeneye? It might be. I would just talk about the dichotomy between Silent Hill and Resident Evil for seven hours. Why is Biden up there? Dude, it's been like a hundred years since Biden has had hair with color. What's going on, Stal? But I guess he's just Biden his time waiting for me to make a mistake. Get you on an idler game or some shit? Yeah, we need to, like, lobotomize Cifferoni. Curse, you say something sexual, you get banned for the night, no recourse? We literally banned the entire chat, though. Oh my god. One measly fucking note! Oh, there's more. I hate this. Why? This is awesome. Holy shit. She was holding out on us. I love this stream, but we wouldn't be able to tell people to take a day off because Tola streams in his own words once a month. I mean, you can go a month without watching these streams. This is not that, that big of a deal, right? Like, watch, um... Watch, um, King Cobra JFS or Cyrax. Cyrax especially is pretty cool. Okay, we need three notes. Something at the bottom of the waterfall, maybe? I'm, I'm, I'm turning invisible. It's strange. No thanks, I'll just watch some VTubers. Christ. I wait for your stream like a teen girl in the late 90s or early 2000s waiting on a call from her crush who doesn't actually care about her. Okay. Where the fuck are the notes? What is this stream? I just watched SPH Femdom Bondage Suffocation... Suspension pool. Oh my god. <laughs> Christ almighty. How do I ban the other mods? You think I should? Okay. Chat. Do you think I should look for the last three notes? Or should I just move on? There's all this game to see, and I'm looking for the notes. I feel like we could follow your heart. I don't have one. Keep looking. The loot goblin in me. I feel like maybe we missed something in the squirrel's casa. You want? I do want to find them, but I also don't want to waste everybody's time. Four Raiders coming in and having... Yeah, I know, dude. Like, I feel, like, a keen sense of embarrassment whenever someone raids my stream. Because it's like... 
I mean, even even if it's not Cifferoni, like, I'm not exactly wholesome Keanu Chongonoid either, you know? Like, I talk about the mother's pillow story and shit on a regular basis. Uh -oh. Hold on, I think I have an idea. But there's more vines over there. Wanna sniff Zelda's toes? All right, you stupid fucking squirrel. He shit everywhere. He ate. He only ate half this burger. What a piece of fuck. I don't think that's true, Cifferoni. Let's not get carried away. I wonder if the notes are. Like, just asinine to find. Uh, holy shit. Uh, We're all little cherubs in here, except Mad Kate King. He's a demon. Well. What's going on, Sushi Fish? And introduce the world to the ra Okay, but you say that the difference is when you tell stories, it's about you. I relay stories from other people. You're the one who says shit like, "Oh my god, I wish I could extend my my slit longer into into my husband's asshole so it could become a Fudinari penis." Like that's not me. That's you. And you should feel ashamed of yourself. I know you don't. But you should. Uh -oh. oh my god. I need the fucking Talon Trot thing. So I can navigate this. Tolo hates girl power. That's not true. There's some people who deserve to be wizards, and Cifferoni's one of them. I will learn the ways of- No, you won't. This is like me saying I'm not- I'm never going to make fun of Jenna or Misa Coco again. It's an empty promise. You can't. You're wired a specific way. You can't defy your programming, Cifferoni. You're a mere program. In a, in a world of possibilities, you were written in C++. Sorry. Love girl bosses in there. Oh my god. Clip plus plus. Whatever makes you happy. Tolo is girl bossing? I'm not a girl, so I don't think I can. What's up, Underag? How are you? How dare you shame sick bastards? Oh my god, he, dude, have you seen the fucking face? They, like, the meme they make of the Golden Eye cover where his face looks like a weird-ass extendo frog. I can never unsee it. No? Oh, okay. Bond burgered your sister last night. Hand cubes and honey mustard. All right, have fun, Cifferoni. You really can't unsee it. Have you ever had a song that you really enjoyed, but someone pointed out that some of the lyrics sound weird? There's one song, and I, I, I... It's not really a song I like a lot. Like, I like it a bit. I'll listen to it, but what is it fucking called? It's, it's Nicki Minaj and David Guetta turned me on. And... 
there's one line where she's supposed to say, I just want you to father my son, but it sounds like she's saying, I just want you to fart on my young. And I cannot unhear it, dude. Like, <laughs> it is... It's a fucking... It's a virus, dude. Come off it? No, dude. Thank you, you're welcome. I hope you enjoy it. Maybe, maybe the notes in the pot... Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I'm not a good note finder. I hope you can forgive me one day. Shit. Where the fuck could they possibly be? I feel like I've... I've been reasonably thorough. We gotta find them. I think we can rule out them being in the tree, though. If nothing else... Smash the pots at the shop? I guess I didn't. I I do hope that they don't put notes in the pots, because sitting there breaking every pot is going to get old pretty quickly. Tolo having a memory hole? How am I having a memory hole? I don't, I don't remember the three notes that I've missed. Never find all the notes. In the original, it wasn't that bad. There's something fucked up with the emulator and transparency, so I'm worried that they're gonna be underneath the, um... The stupid-ass tentacles. Okay, let's see if I can break these pots. I'm gonna fucking... Okay, we did it. All right, all right. All right. Enjoy hunting for pots. Dude, all pot cocks will be eliminated during these streams. If you pot cock, I, I will assume that you have a note in you, and I will slam you as hard as I can. It's underag. You... What the fuck is Compocalypse? Come on, dude. I'm gonna cry. I thought it was better. I liked Under Attorney General Savage. But I, I guess I can warm up to the Compocalypse. Unreal. Okay, please stop posting pots with huge titties and gigantic cocks. This is Haram. Post the cocks, no. No sexually explicit pots, please. Oh my god, I did it, dude. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Oh. Wait, getting something in you? No, you want to know a fun fact? I've actually never had a boner on stream, not once. That's what I sound like sucking dick, okay? Why not? Why the fuck would I? Bullshit, you, you can say bullshit, but why would I have a boner talking to fucking Cifferoni and Cheese, Joel Jutsu, fucking... Like, come on. No one believes you? It's a good thing reality isn't predicated on the belief of, of randoms in Twitch chat, right? That would really suck. And do you want us to try? No. That's okay. I don't know where the honeycomb piece is in here. This motherfucker told me there were six. Toilet 
Hold on one second. I know, dude. I can't, I can't fucking find it. I don't... Do you get, like, boners talking to strangers? Like, is that, is that a thing you guys experience? Am I missing a crucial gene? Like going to the DMV and the bitch is like your license is expired. Ooh! I don't know. That's weird. Now it's my turn to cry. What if? What in the pervert did I come back to? Got a boner today talking to a girl at the gym, but she didn't notice because I have a small penis. Nice. The DMV gives you erectile dysfunction. I don't know where the fuck the honeycomb is. Is it? And I feel fucked up because this dude said I could only find them if I was clever. Am I not clever? Shit. I feel like it has to be over here because this is the only section of the level that hasn't had a honeycomb piece. There was one where we got the thing, the one where we shot the eggs, the one at the beginning, the one with the chest, and one in the water. This segment hasn't had anything, though. So I don't fucking know. You can only find them if you're stupid as fuck. What is an item that you can only find if you're a dumb fuck in real life? Oh, thank God. Oh my god, it's because I didn't... Oh my god. I'm a fool. Fuck this pine. Oh, okay. Alright, alright. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. How Belinda overthinks like every game, right? I miss that boy. I hope wherever he is, he's doing good. I would fucking love to see him play like Basilisk 2000 of the Worm game. That would be sick as fuck. This is caught cock oppression. No, no cock cocks allowed in my stream, please. Song slaps, goddamn. Yeah. She as on my C till I. Yeah, I think so. Honeycomb and Co-Creek? No. I don't think so. Well, am I? Oh, God. That's right, that emulator fucking... No! Alright, well that's not too bad. Like, I don't mind, like, it's the notes specifically, because I can come back and find that whenever. Um, but the notes, like, it resets when you leave, so you gotta find it all in one go. If you want to get a hundred. We beefin', so I'm strogging off. There's, there's like actual enemies and shit now because I. Okay. What about the note? Or we can go there. I'll find the honeycomb at some other point in time. Maybe. She buka on my detail. I beppo. You guys are trying really hard. I see you, and I acknowledge you. Going from 100%? Not necessarily. I just like, I feel like I haven't really beat a level if I haven't gotten all the jiggies and shit, right? Like, why, why would you play a collect a thought and just say, you know what? I will not collect these things. I do not care. 
it just doesn't... It seems kind of antithetical to the way I like to play these. But I'm not super torn up about a note piece. So let's go over here. Is going to go great with some tea? I need some diet coke. You hear this shit? Holy shit. Okay. We need 640 notes for that door. Someone said you have a soundboard for faking Titan. Nobody, nobody actually believes that. That's just something people say just to say things. Just a, a filler statement. What the fuck is this? Oh no. There's a Samoyed soundboard. Oh, she is in here. Hey, Sif. Sif's going on a field trip tomorrow. She's Autumn is taking her to her job, which is a doggy daycare. So she's going to go meet, uh, like, a hundred new fucking dogs tomorrow, I guess. I like the random video game strewn about. Oh my god, it's a 3DS. Is really a Zelda crossover? Yeah. Mario Kart was some good shit, brother. I've never really played Mario Kart with people, except that one time we did it on stream. Is Sif going to be a good girl? I honestly have no idea. She's kind of like... She minds her own business. I'm more worried about other dogs stressing her out. And her, her being bad or whatever. OGDS on oh my I I I it's all the 3DS to me dude. I'm sorry. Will you be there with Sif? I'm not going to Autumn's job, no. That would be take your husband to work day. Nah, that's okay. Do you think dogs are racist? King of the Hill had a good episode on dog racism actually. I mean, she's told them not only the streaming thing, but given them, like, my name on Twitch. Like, her boss apparently was given my Twitch name at one point, which, uh... Woo! Can you fucking imagine? Oh, Autumn's really nice. I'll go check and see what her husband's doing on Twitch. Reading Cifferoni's comments. That would be a nightmare. That wouldn't be very good at all. Talking about bully sticks? Fuck, dude. Keen appreciation of Italian culture? Yeah, I really want to go and... and I want to take a time machine so I can move to Italy before I turn 18 and I can film one of those videos. I fucked all my bullies. Did you really? That's kind of weird. I really did. Well, I believe you, but that's that's bizarre. Okay. Hello, Sir Pizzly. What's going on? It's 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 going. It's slow progress because chat's distracting me. have bullies because I'm cute and everyone loves me. Joel, did you really get the last laugh? Maybe they were calling you that in hopes that you'd fuck them. Maybe they, maybe the, you were the one who got played. Have you ever considered that? I bet you haven't. So your bullies were closeted and self-hating. Yeah, you're right. That's the first time you've ever said something like that. I'll be right back. I'm going to get a Diet Coke. Whatever you do, do not post pot cock while I'm done. All right? 
Cannon thing, what the hell is that? Oh. Holy shit, what's going on over here? Got my Diet Coke soundboard. Gift for Giselle? I don't even think Giselle's here. Why are you giving him gifts? Excuse me, I'm sorry. I've been waking up at like 7, 8 a.m. A little bit of a sleepy motherfucker. Okay, so we're in Castletown now. Hmm. The same man, what a world, yeah, it kind of sucks, honestly. It was cute for a couple days, but now... The Gorilla Gang has fled to the trees with a Jiggy. Okay. It will not be easy to reach them. The trees are tall. The Gorilla Gang. <laughs> okay. Woke up at 6 a.m. today and was out by 7.30. It was wild. I'm so glad I have the stupid pecking ability now. <coughs> Get some sleep, brother. You think I should? You think I should go, uh, take a nappy? Does anyone ever consider buying primate food that they give to gorillas and zoos? Look how big those apes are. It must be the food they give them. I want to order some. Um... Oh shit, we got the orange ginger. Fuck yeah, brother. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Okay, well, let's explore around a bit. Banjo's the one game that makes me see the OG controllers. Walking straight on N64 emulator with non-64 controllers is ass. How I got shredded with this gorilla diet. What is- okay. Tolo Khan idea. We borrow a gorilla from a zoo and see how many people it takes to kill it. Or maybe not kill it. We won't kill it. Well, how, how to restrain it. Like, we, we just got to get him into submission. We got to make him say uncle. We need to subdue him. Yes. Can we befriend it? Well, we need to earn its respect. It was a fitness bro thing in like 2014. My dad tried to do that. <laughs> Killing exotic animals in Tolokan. I mean... Alright, realistically though, how... You think we could do it? 
We can have Joel do like a sexy dance and distract the gorilla. And the rest of us could just dogpile them from behind. It would be, it would be the perfect strategy. <laughs> We have to get a game gorilla, yeah. I think this this is gonna be a marvelous idea. Hello, walk and talking robot. How are you, dude? What if the gorilla bullies? <laughs> oh my god, dude! Teleport behind it and knock it out with a neck chop. Gorillas don't have necks, idiot. They're just mounds of flesh. I feel like you'd be better off hitting it in, like, the fucking cock. Joel's such an anime character. What the fuck? This is so gnarly. A dex build, I'll live. Is it a joke to you guys? Everyone's a joke here. That's the beauty of it, Joel. Name one person here who is taken seriously. You literally fucking can't. And in fact, some of the most beloved people are the ones who were taken the least seriously. Case in point, um, like, pop it at. You. Cifaroni. Misa Coco. Um, me. Everyone loves me, right? But no one takes me seriously. Hello, my dad is not a phone. Comp? Yeah! Who is taken the most seriously? Alright, so... Honestly... Yeah, you know what? Farm Pig probably is the correct answer. I would say Farm Pig, yeah. Farm Pig or Jazal? What's going on, Pliskin? I wanna. How do I open this shit? Can I. Mm. Nope. Jazal hates slime anime? Farm Pig asked me if I was going to kill my son. <laughs> This <laughs> could rain too with me, oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? <laughs> it gets better, you just gotta play it on monsoon difficulty. Holy shit. Uh -oh. oh, come on, what the fuck is this? My very first interaction with Farm Pig? That sounds about right. Jazal trolls a lot? I don't know if that's true. I don't think Jazal trolls at all. Hello, I eat apples, X. See, that's the beauty of Jazal, is you really just don't fucking know. Hello, Yaminski. This is the closest we'll ever get to Pedro. Dude, this is pretty sick so far. I think the worst thing about this, honestly, are the limitations of the original game. How there's, like, things popping in. Because every, every like, the areas are just big. I don't know. Maybe there's a setting I can I can use to fix that. Farm pig wants me to eat an entire head of broccoli. Well, you should do it. Who are you to to disobey farm pig? I have come bearing cured ham, dude. I can't hit this pot. I'm not sure, Chimera. I was honestly wondering that myself, but I opted not to say anything. What did that pot say? Thank you. Oh, that was fucking easy. Okay. Favorite thing about Jez is his ability to remember anything anybody did he was around for on that exact date. Mm. 
Can you imagine if Jazal was like like a malicious person and got a virus on your computer and knew exactly what you masturbated to on March 22nd of 2015? That'd be pretty scary. When he said no areola and bands people, I respect it. Are these the tall trees? I think we found the gorilla gang. Why that date specifically? Because that's just what Jazal does. He'll be like... He'll just, like, give out a random date and say, like, on, on November 22nd, I got my first boner. It was, it was to, you know, some anime. He doesn't talk like that. He doesn't really talk about weird sexual stuff like that. But to just, that's the example I would give if I had a similar ability. Move his beak, those wings as a shield against the bad guys. Cool. Oh. Man, I fucking love Diet Coke. Okay. The knocking scared me. Don't worry, it's just the gorilla gang. Oh shit, there really are multiple of them. Holy hell. That wasn't that bad. This this gang fucking sucks. Why are they wearing sports bras? Come on, why, why you gotta be, like, toxic and pick on them? They're just living their lives. They're just hanging out. We stand a binder king. Binder, like, for fucking papers and shit? What do you mean? Oh, I need to get this. I like to go braless. Yeah, I've never worn a bra. Binder for titties. Chest binder for compressing breasts. What the fuck? Trans men use to flatten their breasts. Huh, okay. Cool. I was legitimately thinking of like a school binder. Learn something new every day. Waiting for the day my pants rip open. All kinds of people use them to flatten their chests. I mean, I got some pretty big titties. I need to, like... I guess I need... Maybe I can get rid of my titties. Does anyone wear clothes during summer in their home? Okay. So, what if you have all leather furniture and you don't want it to get sticky and you don't like the feeling of, like, flesh sticking to, to leather? Don't wear it for more than eight hours total pro tip. Okay. I finally finished those anime titty lady models, if you remember a long fucking time ago when I told you about those. Did you have a good time? Are, are you happy that you're done? Are you feeling accomplished? Or is it more of a sense of relief? I feel like I'm a goblin if I'm just walking around in my home in underwear. Oh, shit. When are you going to sell Tolomeo branded binders? No, I don't think so. Tolomeo branded binders. I'll start selling Tolomeo thongs, too. Do the water slides though. They're not that bad. Transphobic? Yeah. Buy a Tolo thong. I remember as a kid, I thought the farting egg noise was the funniest thing of all time. Tolomeo Bind Me Daddy brand. Game screen is small. Can you put gut cam on the side of the screen? No. God damn it. 
You're never gonna let me live gut cam down, huh? Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. Mm. Stupid ass ghosts. What about cock cam? If you can't- no! What the hell is gut cam? I did a stream where I built a Lego Star Destroyer. And... During some angles of trying to get the Star Destroyer in view, I guess you could see my stomach and they would call it gut cam. It was really cool. Blue Hawaiian shirt cam. Big rhombus shit? Yeah. The Dorito. Look forward to the next blue boy. This door's cracked! I see you, bitch. That was Dredge? I liked it. It was good. Let's see what's in here, dude. We're inside the castle. Oh! What the fuck is this guy's problem? Look at this shit. Do any of you know who this man is? Is that thing holding up, by the way? It's fine. It hasn't had any problems. I, I just had to make sure none of the cats can ever get in the room. It's Joel. John Nintendo. Kangler. Bought Dredge because you nerd fishing games. My favorite part of any game, and now they're... The main part of Dredge, which is awesome. Yeah, Dredge was pretty fun. It's not, I'm a lot more attractive. Come on, Joelle. You're being a little bit mean, don't you think? Have you watched the Mario movie? Uh uh, I haven't. Last movie I watched was Pussy in Boots. <clears throat> One? No, two. Put some boots. Yeah, it was it was alright. Put some shoes was good. I just I felt terrible because I thought the wolf with like the little the little swords was cool and I'm like, oh my god, furry pipeline. I'm gonna be at Midwest Fur Fest before I know it. I felt really bad for liking that character. Kind of fucking pee-yiffing <laughs> at the rain first, dude. Okay. New furries born after that movie? I don't know, I just thought the whistling was really cool. Furry egg is... No. Furry egg, huh? You need to stop saying things like this. Holy shit! Diddy Kong Racing? The mouse was my favorite. Fucking Pipsy, dude. I wonder if I could do anything with this. Was that Conker? Yes. Conker was in Diddy Kong Racing, but he was uh, not like the portrayal he had in his main game. This looks conspicuous. I like how you can see that shit through the window, so it's kind of a hint. I need to use the camera to investigate my surroundings a little more often. Try using the worm kill spell. Wait, hold on, Jinjo alert. Alright, let's see what she has to say. The castle dungeons hide a secret passage. Wouldn't it be cool to visit the throne room? I've heard bomb bags can be used as keys. Now you're just making stuff up. Ooh, you poor dears, your energy is low. Let me fill it up for you. Shrek, yeah. 
<laughs> Shrek, my, my favorite waifu. Would, would you share an onion with waifu Shrek? Would you have a disgusting, pungent, uh, onion kiss with her? <laughs> Fuck her, Shressy. You need to stop saying words like Shressy, for fuck's sake. I mean, it's my fault. I encouraged you, but Jesus Christ. I don't share anything with fat people. Hmm. You're wrong. You like Monster Hunter, and most Monster Hunter enjoyers are fat fucking whales. Look at me. What about her trussy? We... we need to get rid of the ussy thing. Like, we need to start a campaign to remove this shit. Wait, hold on, can I break these? Finally play Mega Man Battle Network. I kind of want to try Mega Man. I've never played a Mega Man game in my life. But it seems like on the surface it would be the kind of thing that I enjoy. I love, like, one of my least favorite things about my, like, not my stream specifically. I think it's, it's like a, it's just a, a general Twitch thing. Is people seem to really not like the Metroidvania kind of game very much when people stream it. Because I fucking love that shit. It's like crack cocaine to me. I need to play the old Castlevanias too, especially now that they have so many of them on Steam. Is it a Metroidvania? Well, it's... Okay, so let me... It's that 2D style of game in general, I mean. Custom Robo. I still do Custom Robo for the N64. was awesome. Normal Mega I don't know the difference in Mega Man games. I have no idea. But, like, Mega Man, I feel like, dude, okay, straight up. I, I've seen Joe get into, like, arguments with people over Mega Man lore. And I remember distinctly, like, seeing this conversation and thinking, wow, this is the most virginal shit I've ever seen in my entire life. And I build Gundam models. So that's saying a lot. And I was like, holy fuck, dude. Like, what the fuck? Am I gonna be like this if I start playing these games? <laughs> you know? It depends on the game. I hate watching most dungeon crawlers, but I watch the fuck out of Hades playthroughs. Joe can make anything sound virginal. You're not wrong. Uh-oh. This wretched video game is impossible. Getting mad at a game? Really? Damn. Game over again. Taking over Hyrule was easier than trying to beat this. I think we better steer clear of this guy. Huh. Does Zelda 2 be like that? You, I, should I play Zelda 2? Is it worth playing? Hello, Brent Coco. What's up, dude? What the fuck is this? Oh my god. This changes everything. So there's like random pictures that tell you about secrets. Okay, that's the secret passage. Let's explore the rest of this. Huge discovery? Yeah, man. I hear the... Leaky, is that you? What are you doing in jail? I was trying to empty the market's fountain. I thought I saw treasure inside. Interesting. 
like the way he speaks. Empty my fountain? Come on. Still think the Banjo Punch is probably the hardest hitting attack in video game history. Just imagine being pummeled by this guy. I don't know if I agree. Do you think there are any photos of Banjo performing indecent acts? Oh, fuck. This place looks precarious. Oh my god, I don't have to restart the entire fucking level? That's awesome. What's over this way? I had Rusty Bucket Bay flashbacks for a moment. Holy shit, where the fuck am I? Banjo Snout could be a good penis substitute in a pinch. One of these days, you guys are actually going to get me banned because I'm going to be streaming something innocuous and, and fun like Banjo. And I'm going to read one of the, your comments such as that one. And like some random Banjo category viewer will think that's me saying that. I'm going to get banned because of you. Wait, hold up. Okay, those aren't real vines. Uh. Fall for it? Yeah, I got I got owned. Got corn cobbed. Starting to get Cyrex videos in my YouTube recommended. Are you happy? How did you like the song of his that I sent you, by the way? Did you enjoy it? I thought it was really good, personally. Gotta go to sleep. Gonna interior decorate in my sleep. Just think, dude. If you were me to help me, like, I would have been able to get out of Minecraft prison so much faster. And maybe I could have done uh, a feather boa catwalk stream or something. You know? Literally don't know how to do anything in Minecraft. I'm just teasing. Honestly, like, I would probably get mad at you if you were trying to help me with that. I don't- I don't like helpers. I'm just- I'm completely being facetious. Uh-oh. I actually remember... In- I- I- I got- I pissed a, a- a beloved chat member off in the first Rat Craft because Game Boy when we were playing, I was building like a bridge and I guess he thought he knew what I was doing with it and so he finished it for me and it was all wrong. Like it was not what I wanted to do. And so I yelled at him and he was like, I was just trying to help, man. I felt pretty bad. <laughs> like I was not, I don't know. But I, I don't, I get very ornery with the Minecraft stuff. Like I, I don't like people messing with my shit very territorial over minecraft oh fuck oh. all right all right oh come on charles oh the camera here is not helping me i'm gonna die yeah that's me pop it up are you seeing this shit i'm 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 giga chatting right now Eekum bokum. I I'm getting a little sick of the secret area. This place kind of blows. All right, so we got four puzzle pieces here. It's not too bad. Say it like the VTuber? Nah, dog. I was eekum bokuming before anyone. I'm dying for the Coroni Skull? We are not calling those Coroni Skulls. I swear to fucking God. Oh. 
You're gonna make me cry. Caroni skulls. What are they called? They're called mumbo tokens, okay? They've literally always been called mumbo tokens. It's not a Caroni skull. Doesn't sound real. Caroni skull sounds cooler. How does he zoomer say Ika Bokum Fleeka Bokum? I wish I had a webcam right now because you can clearly see that I am not smiling. As a matter of fact, I am frowning. You're making me fucking frown right now, Bigly. The Coroni coin now. He hates Coroni skulls. Dude, fuck. I'm gonna fucking jump off of a bridge. God. Coroni skulls. It's not a good mac and cheese. Mac and cheese is pretty great overall. Do you want to play Risk of Rain 2? Is that our euphemism now? <laughs> What's going on, Lonely Taco? God. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, no! Oh, he actually fucked off. I can't believe the Jiggies are trying to assault me. Who do you play in Risk of Rain 2? Engineer and Mercenary. Fuck off. No, go away. Literally nobody loves you. Go get adopted, bitch. Have you played Signalis? I have not. It's on my list of things I need to play. You guys about to eek him, you bulk him? You aren't swinging around, it's not right. I don't know, dude. I like the engineer. Everyone's so nice in this game. They're healing my energy. Oh my god, this fucking... Holy shit, dude. I, this... Are you enjoying the Banjo-Kazooie gameplay? Holy fuck, dude. That was insane. <laughs> that was that... I'm pogging. You know that image people post of that, that guy with his hands behind his head, like, making this unbelievably astonished face? Like, he just saw his mom in a, in a three-way with, like, Shrek and Sonic? I'm making that face right now. No way is that what it's called? I don't know. It's everywhere. You've seen it. Like, I, I just don't know if it goes by a specific name or whatever. Now, this is the part where everyone's gonna love it, because I'm gonna... I'm just gonna have Kazooie going... ...in the background for the remainder of the playthrough. That's not what I wanted to do. I'm still not sure why they chose to reskin those guys in that way, but. Oh my god. It looks like we're gonna have to climb. Okay, please, in the future, do not post Shrek and Shadow the Hedgehog making out. Talking about Deep Rock? I. Alright, so I'm gonna give it to you straight. I don't know what it is, but I didn't really like Deep Rock. I might need to play it more, but it seems super... I don't know. It just seemed especially repetitive for that kind of game. 
Caroni Skull get. Yes, we, we got a Caroni Skull, everybody. It's a lot more fun the further in you get. 4v hordes, you think? No, I love Killing Floor. Killing Floor 1 is awesome, but that's mostly because you have, like, a, a fucking litany of custom maps where you can, like, go fight zombies on the weed farm or in Tatooine. Thank you, Sanctus Even, for the 28 months, and Henroy for the 33 months. How's Sif and friends? Well, Sif is actually going to, uh, going to a doggy daycare tomorrow with my wife as part of her work. So she can meet new friends. So hopefully she'll enjoy that. It's like on the very edge of being a 4v horde, in my opinion, lol. I wonder if one of these fucking windows is breakable. Oh, what a 4v horde, I guess. I, I know what he's talking about. He means like Dark Tide, um, Berman Tide. That sort of game, I guess, is called a 4v horde. Hello, doggo. Can I climb on these? Oh, there's a, there's a Jinjo. We need to rescue him. What the fuck is that? You see that? Is that Russ money? He's waiting for Sun Havel. Sun Havel, huh? If Nancy Drew Game 34 comes out, how much do I have to dono for you to play it? Nancy Drew 34, huh? Oh, fuck. Jinjo still sounds like a slur. Dude, it's not. Like, Jinjos are just as cute little cherub homies. There's nothing weird about Jinjos. There's nothing racist about Jinjos. They just need some help, dude. Help. I can say whatever the fuck I want, most average. It's America. I'm free to say whatever I want, have everyone laugh at me and hate me. Oh, God. Oh! Did you see that recovery? Holy sh- No. Is there another? There is. Oh. Where is he? Look at him. Dude, it's literally Where's Waldo. He looks like he's he's getting ready to, to drum up the courage to ask to be pegged by his wife. Fuck you. This mod dev just has, like, a bunch of random stooges hiding behind towers and stuff. I need to rescue this Jinjo. We just need the purple one. Man, I still have a ton of notes and jiggies to find, but I feel like I've done a pretty reasonable uh, attempt at the exploration. I guess I need to go back to the cathedral. It did show that I could climb up those pillars. Nothing quite like Monster Hunter with friends. Let me give you a tip for making friends in Monster Hunter. If you want to make friends in Monster Hunter, especially with Australian women, what you have to do 
is constantly post the hardest Valstrax quest you have. Event Valstrax, Risen Valstrax, whatever. Um, everyone loves that fight, and if they're really your friend, they will play it over and over with you. That's my advice. We're not even mentioning Jiggy? Yeah, I agree, Cifroni. That's... I really don't like saying those words together in a sentence, but you're right. I still haven't fought Risen Valstrax. I need to get rid of it. Not get rid of it, but get to that. Jiggy is the cultural dance of Jinchos. Don't appropriate? I don't think that's true. I saw a Coroni skull you missed about 20 minutes ago. Fuck the Coroni skulls. I don't want to pick them up now that you're calling them Coroni skulls. Wait, wait. I remember. The little fucker told me. Hell yeah. They say you can poke this. I'm actually... Don't come to Tolokan. Some of you are alright, but if you're saying this Coroni Skull shit... You're uninvited. Watch the original Super Mario Brothers movie recently. Iggy and Spike were the best characters. Very sexual. Okay. Oh my god, it's a miracle. Look at this shit. Did those look climbable? Like... When I came in here at first, did you think, Tolomeo, climb up those pillars? Oh my god, what the fuck is this? Okay, so 765 note door. In level 2. Got it. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Uh -huh. I don't have any inkling on what to do now, though. I need to be able to transform, but I have no fucking idea how to do that. Because there's like little holes which, which I, I seemingly can go into, but... Huh. Let me, let me examine the fields. Maybe there's like a hole or something. You think if you pull out the Master Sword, you play as Nuts and Bolts Banjo? I hope not. It's not a Coroni Skull? Then why is it from a corn video? Oh. I fucking love corn, dude. I, I, can I tell you a fucked up secret? I bought one of their albums when I was a teenager. I bought, I bought corn and black-eyed peas in the same trip. It's fine since they used to be good. What the fuck do I do now? about a Limp Biscuit album in my 20s. Mm. I...
What the fuck is this? Holy shit, okay. Hey, thank you, Psycho Street, for the 41 months I miss. t dog -goo, but I hope you're doing well as always. I hope your cock stays rock hard, brother. Well, thank you. Um, to be fair, Twitch removed it. Twitch, oh, there it is, did not want you to have that emote. It's all their fault, and I, I accept no responsibility or blame. They said it was too sexual. Unreal. What the fuck is that? Hold up. There's a video game down there. I'm not sure I've played that one. I, I don't recognize it. Oh, there's six notes over here? Holy shit, dude. There's seven. Oh, oh. oh no, there, never mind. There's five, not six. Texan counting. Yup, yeah, yup. Yeah. P Dog with Goof Face is the one I make when I'm about to have spaghetti and meatballs, though. Yeah, that's fair. Holy shit, we're so close. We only need two more notes. Goodbye, Trinus. Okay. We need to go visit this fuck mumbo. I love this music. It's pretty decent. Hold on, I'm just making sure there's no, like, notes back here. Is there a breakable pop back there? Oh, God, that's right. These fuckers in their pots, I swear to Christ. Do you prefer normal fries, curly fries, or tater tots? Fries? Um. Yes, there was one over here. Fuck. Potato wedges are my favorite, and then I like waffle fries. Sag count? Yeah, we got 69 of them bitches. I'm confident that the thing we need is in Mumbo's hot. Let me in, pussy. Two notes here, and then we can become a pumpkin and get the other two jigsaws. Mumbo, what are you doing in Hyrule? Clock Town, bad investment. Mumbo think Castle Town have stable future ahead of it. Not that simple, filthy buzzard. Mumbo needs his magic tokens first, but they hid by the witch. You find tokens. Mumbo helps. Okay. We get up here. There's always shit in the Mumbo hut, like on these little boards. Thanks for the one golden feather, asshole. Jesus. Am I going to be the termite or the pumpkin? Oh my god. I feel like such a fool. That's what she meant by the bomb bag. Holy fuck. Okay. I mean, it's a reskin pumpkin, but look at me, dude. I'm cute as hell. Is it up in the bomb shop? Yeah. Get right on that. Oh, come the fuck on, Charles. No, we got this. We got this. We got this. We got this. Tactical. Coroni skull get. How did he do that? I'm just naturally talented at everything I do. I'm losing this at the end of the month? Thank fucking God. What the fuck just happened? Yo, let me in, bro. I'm not sure what that was about. So I remember there was a hole over here. 
Oh no. Oh, okay. That was that was fairly simple, actually. What will I do if Cipharoni doesn't post the Mr. Krabs emote? I don't think chat can take it. Losing Cipharoni would be like losing the foundational pillar. Everything's gonna come crashing down. Like, why even live? No more Coroni skulls, please. They're now Tolomeo Domeos. Man, I sure wish I was not alive right now. <laughs> Fuck off, dude. What the hell is a Tolomeo Domeo? Why is there a moving ball sack? Oh, actually, it's a bomb bag. I like the idea of a moving ball sack better, though. Oh no, it's a disaster. Alright, this is really cool. But where the fuck are the notes at, playa? Shit. I need two of them. Where's the pot fairy? She's in our hearts. Literally never subscribed and not as iconic as you. Cifroni's iconic now, huh? These notes. Yeah, the notes. I don't know, I like how they're kind of hard to find, but I also am like... Are they really well hidden? Did I miss two obvious ones? Are they here? Are they there? I have no fucking idea, you know? Cool 109 Love was a desktop icon. What program would he launch upon being double-clicked? Bonzi, buddy. They even exist, we'll never know. Yeah, pretty much. Wait, hold on, I have an idea. Oh no. Bonzi, buddy. Man, I'm old. Most averages call me Joe. I think I need to step back and reevaluate. I don't think that's true. I don't think that's a fair comparison whatsoever. One on I love is a zoomer like me. We never had Bonzi, buddy. I've heard stories. We actually like Cefroni and the cheese. We we like Joe, right? He had his moments. What? Alright, I like Joe. Sometimes. He had his moments. I like the part where he was talking about how he was so mad that his dad was watching the movie with an actor that he didn't like. That he was going to aggressively, la like, vacuum the house at, like, 3 in the morning. That's most definitely what's up. That's Chad behavior. I don't care what you say. <laughs> like... That's... That's so fucking funny. <laughs> that is the funniest fucking thing I've ever heard. Oh my god. Like the part where he couldn't build the computer. Yeah, that was really funny too. He's like, I can't, I need to, I need my dad to help me build the computer. And we all sit down and we're like ready to help Joe with the computer. But it was pre-built and all he had to do was plug it in. Like... Oh my God. <laughs> that was the funniest shit. And we were like in disbelief because we were under the impression that he had like build it. But literally it's just like... <laughs> no, you just gotta plug it in, bro. Oh, man. Good times. Uh, 
You need a birthday song for Cool 109 Love? Hmm. All right. <clears throat> Happy birthday! No? Oh, okay. Ever competitive with Mario? I don't know. Maybe? I'm not sure. What animal is Banjo? I'm pretty sure he's a, he's a gorilla. Let me see what my birthday is. I don't want this song either. What the fuck, dude? This is a turning point where more people are, are going to not want birthday songs and actually want them. And I'm going to have to try to, like, dox people specifically to find their birthday so I can sing them songs and ambush them with it. Notes. We gotta find these notes, brother. Maybe they're back over here. This is the area that I was exploring the least, but I don't know. Maybe the castle. I hope it's not back in the castle, though. Be a little bit of a bummer bomb. Oh, here's one. Oh, there's two. <laughs> Gave up on I don't think I I don't know. I think I was autopiloting. I don't I'm not sure I was specifically trying to get anywhere. I was kind of fucking bumbling. Okay. Let's go to the next area. We have 200 notes. Toll never found the keys. There's no keys. Okay, so where the fuck am I going now? Was she supposed to get in those two doors? I thought there were three. Fucked up propeller flower guys that were an ocarina of time. I need one a birthday song, please. I'm desperate. You had your chance. The time has passed. Fan game? It's, uh... Yeah, it's a ROM hack with Banjo and, and the Ocarina of Time, basically. Alright. <clears throat> Happy birthday! Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to your cool 109 love. Happy birthday to you. The camera was kind of sinister there, huh? Also, I needed 180 notes in there, so like... You really can't miss a lot, huh? That's probably good. Can't just half-ass it and get like 50 notes in a zone. Barely be halfway there. Oh, this is gonna be sick, dude. We're gonna see Banjo drown and wash up on a shore thousands of miles away with blue skin and all his fur torn off. That's... It's not good. Hello, Farm Pig. What's up, dude? Farm Pig, you like Banjo-Kazooie? Kakariko? Yeah, yeah, Kakariko. It's like Puerto Rico's younger brother. I'm worried about Cipharoni. Don't be. My 
Banjo Kazooie and especially Tui. I'm kind of the opposite. I, I thought I liked Tui a lot, but I went back and played it and I didn't enjoy it as much. I never played, but he seems alright. It's actually a Nintendo 64 emulator. It's emulator. Game Boy 90, huh? Real Nintendo 64 playing this game right now? Oh, oh god, dude, this is cool. I don't think so, Splitting. Can you reevaluate it? No, I kind of want to go back again, though. Because there are some parts that I really like about Tui. Like, I fucking love Jolly Roger Lagoon. Have it in the garage? I have a Nintendo 64 somewhere. You know? Oh, wait, what the fuck? Did you see that? Oh, I'm, I'm high. Factory level? Nah, dude. Favorite game ever was Super Mario 64. Mario 64 is really cool. The ROM hacks for it are really cool, too. Tolomeo Domeo Get. Chad is trying their hardest to get me to go back to, to, to Caroni Skulls. Make Grunty's Factory. Oh, me too, dude. That shit was awful. Grunty's Factory and the fucking carnival level. Oh my god, dude. Whee! Looks really good. It is really good so far. I'm, I'm. I don't have a lot of complaints. Okay, let's see what's in here. There's actually two parts of this well. Getting in around Hailfire Peak. I actually liked the dinosaur level. That's a level that like almost everyone hates in Banjo Tooie, but I enjoy it because it's a fucking dinosaur level, you know. I love the hoedown music. It's like I'm really at the church hoot nanny again. It was cool except the lag. I remember the lag. Holy shit, that's my favorite part of Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time is Diddy Kong. What? Why did they put him in a box? That poor little motherfucker. That's like being trapped in a refrigerator. Just wearing Gucci Daddy shorts. Gucci Daddy, huh? <laughs> Prison for ginger war crimes. What would what did he do? Did he like decline to help somebody? Like there's a little old Jinjo lady who needed help reaching the top shelf and he just didn't do it, and that's against the Jinjo code. So they put him in a fucking box. It's fucked up. I feel like we we would be better if we modeled ourselves after Jinjos. You know? All of these. Think all Jinjos go to heaven? Yes. I could live there. What do you think the best place in a, in a video game to live would be? Like, what, what the comfiest place is? I have to think long and hard about that one. Assuming that, like... You didn't have to worry about any in-game threats or anything. You were just chilling there and you were fine and, like, all of your needs were taken care of. Just, like, specifically on, like, aesthetics. Stardew Valley somewhere in Animal Crossing? Hotel in Majora's Mask Forever? The one with the creepy fucking hand asking you for... My king. Hmm. 
this thing? Besaid Village from Final Fantasy X would be pretty cool. That's actually the first thing that comes to mind. Fucking music. Just as long as I didn't have to worry about Sin coming in and, like, whale choking me, you know? The archives from DS1. That is the worst fucking answer I think anyone could have... Oh, he's making potions to get taller. Key to Death Mountain is in the back room. Oh, fuck. How many notes? 260? Okay, we can get that if we get a mere 25 more notes. We say it's boring? Fuck. No, it's not. Dude, it's a tropical island. Dude, that's awesome. The soundtrack's literally one of the best in the game. What are you talking about? Oh shit, look at look at him. Come on. Let me <laughs> look at it, dude. We've all been there, buddy. Is that a Charmander? I don't think so. Why does this guy need help? There's a ladder right there. Jinjos can't do ladders, dude. Oh, fuck. What's up here? Live in a Pokemon world if only because I'm lazy and had my Pokemon do all the work. You just want to fuck a Gardevoir. You can't fool me. Yeah, bro, I just want my Pokemon to help me with the work. I got you. I see your angles, just a gamer, Jonathan. Hold on, can I climb up this? That kind of looks like you might be able to climb up it, right? Oh, for fuck's sake. God damn it. Wait. Okay, not all is lost. I found the yellow one. Cool. Man. Imagine if you were a Jinjo. Just got a pet. And they're good at net batting. Battling. What if they were called Jonjis? The entire game would be ruined. That would be like a domino effect where it would just be shit. Like Banjo Kazooie would suck if they were called Jonjos or Jonjis or whatever. Jinjoel? Nah. I have a team of level 99 Gardevoirs who all know how to bake. Coin, Amans, and Quiche, and also use their psychic powers to hypnotize me into believing I'm a big cock Tyranitar on occasion when I'm doing the sin of Pokephilia. Okay. Alright. So real, you think so? Some of you need Jesus, that's for sure. My chat is going to turn me into a religious man with some of these comments. That's oils in Greece. That sounds so good. Shit. <laughs> Worship Mormon Jesus to let you marry six women? One's enough. Oh, shit. What the fuck is this, dude? 
Kong of Diddy. It is weird that Diddy Kong is just hanging out over there. Uh-oh. I'm guessing her pizza might not be uh, the best health-wise. Wait, 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 wait. Can I go in? Dude, I want to see the pizza place. Please. God damn it. That's the most disappointing thing so far. Holo Domio get. It's gonna be Star Pizza. Fuck. My mother made this really comfortable blanket and said that I have to put it away after I wake up because everyone has agreed that if I keep it in my room, I'll sleep throughout the day. Tell your mother. Mother, I am an adult. Let me keep my goddamn blanket. Fuck off. That's what I would do. It's a family blanket. Nah. Miss me with that shit. No family blankets. Because then you get family sock drawers. And it's just... Nah, man. I, I think I'm okay. Personally, I think the best Pokemon to fuck would be Incineroar. Okay. I'm not reading the rest of that. Wait! Wait! How do I? <sighs> Maybe I can turn into the ant. Oh my god, that's right, there are race shoes and everything. I haven't found bottles yet. They hated her because she spoke the truth. Those are... There's nothing racist about those shoes. Come on. Why the fuck would the shoes be racist? Doesn't make a goddamn bit of sense. This music is actually kind of lulling me to sleep. It's so calming and relaxing. I can't help but notice I have exactly 260 notes and I need that to get to Death Mountain. And I'm also kind of struggling to figure out what I'm doing here. So I wonder if I'm meant to go to Death Mountain at this point. But that seems kind of... You need every single note up until this point to go to Death Mountain doesn't seem right. Okay, there's some more over here that I missed. Gone down the well. Yeah, it's like the first thing I did. Uh-oh. Oh, fuck. Okay. That's not what I wanted to do. Come on, Charles. There we go. Teach me an ability, you freak. Teach me how to fly. Man. I get to see Gravedigger Dampy? Maybe. I'm not sure how they would do that. This feels like there's an invisible thing behind here. Back from doing dishes, what did I miss? Not a whole hell of a lot. Cifferonis being Cifferoni. Um, we're gaming in the name of our lord. Oh, hold up. So wait. I can get the rest of the notes. Oh god. It's so fast I cannot control it. 
there was on the wall to the left of bottles. Let's see. Interesting. Wait. What's in the shed? It's not gonna let me in, is it? What's this? Um... Yeah. That's the flowers, right? Like, it wouldn't be this. Oh, maybe it would. Holy shit! Okay! Wait. What is this? <laughs> um. Well, shit, I guess we gotta go back to the village, huh? Don't fucking say it! Triple digit IQ? Yeah, you know me. I was the only one who could figure that out. Like, every- any single one of you put in my shoes would have taken at least 20 days to figure that one out. God, I want to play League of Legends. Part of me wishes that I was a streamer back when I played League of Legends like every fucking day. So we could do League of Legends streams. And I could show you my patented drinking and draven. Good fucking times. Do it now. I'm not good at it anymore. Like, I'm, I'm trash and I'm, I probably will always be trash at it. It's like a completely different game from what I played at this point. Oh, this is this ROM hack is really fucking cool. I haven't been talking too much about it, but okay, this is easy. This is for babies. What the fuck? Come on, Charles. Oh my god, you're gonna send me all the way back to fucking Estonia? Easy- no, it was, because I knew what to do, but I, like, I got the depth perception wrong. Play Tank Heimerdinger? No, dude, I want to play Draven. I would- I played like most AD and mid champions, but I love Draven and I feel bad because whenever whenever anyone talks about people who play Draven, it's like all people who play Draven are psychopathic motherfuckers who will hold the game hostage and, and be toxic and that ain't me, dude. I was I was fine. I just muted all of my teammates and just ignored them and did whatever. Because they never have anything worthwhile to say. What's going on, Rouser? They are. I wasn't. Okay, let's... There we go. Rouser! How do you feel about my chat calling the fucking Lumbo Tokens Coroni Skulls? That's fucked up, right? Shit pisses me off. Sony is pretty good. Farm pig, can I can I sleep over at your house? And what the, it's fucked up, right? How do you feel about Tolomeo Dome? That's better, but I can't really say that I appreciate Tolomeo Domeos either. I actually cannot believe I managed to traverse that properly going backwards. She said the funny ego. Dude, I literally, you, you, you'll have to watch the VOD, but I streamed Banjo way the fuck back in the day before Coroni was even born. And I said the Ecom Pokem thing too, because I'm a fucking idiot, just like Coroni. But she gets the credit, and I'm just chopped liver. You know how that makes me feel? Coroni has huge tits? Oh. You know what? I can see the point. 
I can't, I can't argue against that, huh? I wish I had, well, no, I actually don't, never mind. Fuck, I need to stop saying shit like that because now people are gonna be like, oh, Tolomeo Egg? You should get huge tits too. I don't want tits. I am a man, goddammit. How do I get that Coroni skull? What the fuck? What do you mean, what the fuck? Who doesn't want tits? I, why would I want tits? Why are you going? No, that would be fucking weird. Why would I want titties? Also, why why is the only thing you ever say that I'm lying? So you can play with them? I don't I don't need that. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. It's right here. Sacks to play with? That's that's true. But that doesn't help me at all. There must be one on the other side as well. Okay, but Dude, honestly? Big tits seem like they would be a huge... Well, I guess they wouldn't be a pain in the ass, but a pain in the tits. Imagine the fucking back problems. Fuck that. Pain in the back. I have scoliosis, dude, so if I had big titties, it would turn my spaghetti spine into, like, a corkscrew. And then it would basically be a duck penis. And then everyone would go around calling me cock spine. I don't want to live that life, do you? Anyone with bat problems because of their massive tits? And you can't lay on your stomach? Okay, I have a question. So I learned a new thing today. There are binders that bind your titties. Do you think people use those so they can sleep on their stomachs? That would be really funny. No? How come? How do I get this fucking Ikumbokum, dude? Unsafe to sleep in? I don't want to fall down because I don't want to go through that again. But I'm like... <sighs> Unless you want to suffocate? Well, I mean, there are people who are into autoerotic asphyxiation, right? I see. I think. That's fucking devious, dude. Holy shit, are you seeing this, guys? There's no way. No, never mind. I'm actually fucking high. I thought that one of these skulls was like way the fuck over there. I was tripping. Depth perception, lol. Wait. Do I have to climb up this? Well, what the fuck? What fucks with your depths? Yeah, it seems like there's a giant one, but it's just the one you're standing on. Binders are changing some of the most uncomfortable items of clothing I've ever and are hard to get out of. Interesting. Hey, thank you, Anx, for the 85 months. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you. So there's... It could be that I, I, I need to go somewhere else for this, but... I don't know. There, It would be really weird for there to be, like, a completely separate path just for a mumble token, you know? Alright, why dwell on it? We'll, we'll see. 
I need to put this in, in my list of mysteries in my head in case I get stuck and can't find shit. Part with the shoes. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. It, but that also doesn't make sense. Okay, so... Ignore what just happened. I'm bad. Um, it would be really weird if the entire point of that shoe segment was to just a, a mumbo token. Imagine if you had a retractable prehensile dick that you could shoot out of the base of your neck along your shoulder line along your back. Would make you become a quadriplegic for a little bit as you gush you the ussy, and then when you unerect it, it comes back like one of those retractable power cords and vacuum cleaners. Sometimes I'll see like a new person in chat. Like earlier, there was that Game Boy guy who was saying that he loved Banjo Kazooie, and I feel like in that moment, my heart goes out to them because I know that they're like, oh, in a Banjo game stream, I love this game. I want to have a cozy experience and watch my one of my favorite games. But I know that. The hills have eyes, and the eyes belong to Cool 109 Love and Cifferoni. And that if they stay, they're going to figure that out quickly. Shit's fucked up. What the fuck, dude? That's so asinine, but I love it. You know what? Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, okay, okay. I'm in danger of dying. Don't die. Simply live. Ocarina of Time. So I actually have very little recollection of Ocarina of Time. I played it once like a million years ago. I know bits and pieces. Like, I know, I know the fishing game was kind of ass tonight. I know the, um... Getting the big moron sword was a tribulation. Okay, so we can fly now. When is the Zelda Marathon? Oh, Christ. Wait. Okay, so we, we can use the... That's weird. Not only did we gain the ability to fly, I guess we can use those little moon pads to switch from day to night now. I am... Not 100% sure on the, the in-game implications of that yet, but... Uh -huh. Oh god. To play them in chronological order? Can you fucking imagine, like, a month of Zelda streams? Holy shit, what a nightmare. I don't think anyone would go for that. Zal would be happy? Maybe at first. But then he'd be like, oh my god, Tolomeo's... Tolomeo's trolling. What's this guy doing? What's this asshole doing? Starting off with Skyward Sword. I love Wind Waker HD. Wind Waker's pretty cool, don't get me wrong, but... Tolomeo Domeo. We, we need to stop calling these things that. I bet you... Yep. I knew it. I don't know what that is. But I like it. Alright, baby, let's go. I still think the funniest fucking thing would be uh, Tolomeo Final Fantasy a thon, where we play every Final Fantasy game in a row. That would be, like, beyond nightmarish. Holy fuck, dude. <laughs> That would take a while. Yeah. That'd be like a year. Does that include spin-offs? No. This is not something I'm seriously entertaining. 
Just one of those. It would be funny if... Which ones have you played? Um, played but not finished 7 and 8. Finished 9, 10, 13, 13, 2, Crystal Chronicles. Haven't played any before 7. Better start if you want to... No, I, I think even if I started right now and streamed every day, I don't think I could do all of them. Sounds great and con... No, no, I was not serious about the Zelda one either. I'm not really a marathon guy. You haven't played six? Nah. Oh, fuck. Okay, it's just that. This is tough because I can't fucking... Think of the camera angle, right? Hold up. In the new Zelda game? I, so I still haven't played Breath of the Wild. Can you believe it? I think I'm the only one who hasn't. I feel bad, dude. He sounds so sad. Oh, 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 oh. Let's see what this bitch has to say. Hey, lady! Slam into the monkey's coin to awaken the crocodile. That sounds sexual. Impa's house holds a secret to Dry Bones Valley. Do you remember where Link learned the sun song? Maybe you can learn something there, too. I don't know what the fuck this bitch is talking about. What's going on, Mew Kuki? I hear a Jinjo. Wait, hold on. Turn off two seeds of evil! Oh my god. I fucking love that game. Holy shit. No. Alright, you pink little freak. I fuck you. Dude, I love Turok, man. I can sense a Turok from extreme distances. Life's good, Tolo. How are you? I'm chilling. I'm here. I'm queer. Well, okay. I can't say queer because Joelle will get mad at me, and I don't want that. But I am here. Jarak 2 scared me so bad as a kid. That's honestly understandable. The, the lizards and the way they move and the noises they make are pretty scary. I remember that first fucking hallway where where the the first raptor turns the corner and is like making these jump noises and yelling at you is actually pretty scary. Oh. Thank you, Twister. It's a pretty good birthday. Charles okay, but those are not even remotely comparable. What do you mean? That's like saying Veggie Tales was good, but I like James Bond more. Like, I guess the commonality is that there's dinosaurs, but they're pretty different, aren't they? Oh, we need to slam that monkey. I guess that's what the flight is for, huh? Put on this an angelic. Damn, this camera. That's most definitely what's up. Okay, so I'm guessing this must be Impa's house. Right? Cam got stuck there. Oh, it did. I fight dinosaurs in Jurassic Park, but Turok's like, a, like an FPS. The, the Jurassic Park games I remember playing, like, the one for the SNES, where it's, um... I don't even know how you describe it. I remember that actually being one of the most frustrating games as a kid. Top-down shooter? Yeah, kinda. And when you went into interiors, it became like a Doom game, where it was a shooter, but it was... I don't know. I never beat that game. I never even came close. The 
first person parts of that game are ass. I remember when I was a kid, I didn't really care about beating the game. Just going around and seeing dinosaurs was enough for me. I think we should be more like that. You know? It's always like, I gotta beat this game, I gotta be good at this game. Sometimes you just need to play a game and just, just see the funny dinosaurs. That's all you really need. But dinosaurs are cringe? I know you were not coming into my chat and saying dinosaurs are cringe. I swear to fucking God. I don't know what to do with you. I think dinosaurs are like the extreme opposite of cringe. What the fuck is he gonna teach me now? The, the beak attack? Yup. Are Dino Nuggies cringe? Nah. I don't think so. Probably not, Cifferoni. Imagine being a Dino during one of the mass extinctions. Okay, but alright, counterpoint. So the asteroid was probably instantaneous. And dinosaurs didn't have to pay taxes. Where the fuck was it? I didn't think it was gonna be this time shit. God damn it, I have no idea where it is. Oh, oh, oh. You son of a bitch! Okay. That's why they died. Yeah, the IRS fucking dropped the asteroid on them. Stranger things have happened, I suppose. I like this show, what, Stranger Things? So, I don't know. I watched the first two seasons and they were alright. But... From what I've seen of the new one, there's like some new guy that everyone just wants to bang and thinks he's like the cutest shit ever, and it's getting kind of weird for me. I don't know. If I watch it, am I gonna want to bang him too? I don't know. He's a cool character though. I believe you, but... Do you like tentacles? No. Uh-oh. Oh. There's no way though. Less. Yeah, there's no way. I fucking bungled that so hard. I'm surprised that counted, though. God. Alright, we're gonna be here a while, folks. Main demographic of Stranger Things is 13 to 16 year old girls. I'm popular. I don't know. I'm seeing a lot of people like, agree with you. I don't know, I, I like what I saw of it, but... It's what else? <laughs> it's nothing super insane. I don't believe in demographics. I'm gonna go watch the new Mario movie. Stranger Things is mid. It's not even unpopular. Never watched Stranger Things. I have no nostalgia for 80s monsters movies. Make sure you watch the old one first. I think I've seen that one when I was a kid, where the Goombas look like fucked up, weird little alien Star Trek reptiles. <laughs> that shit was awesome. The new Mario movie is really good. Bowser made me moist. Okay. 
Okay. Cifaroni said something about JPEG. Okay, dude, that was so close. What the fuck? Christ almighty. That felt like I, I it was a lot closer than it should have been. Rusty bucket bay motherfuckers. The other the mystery of the world makes it less interesting. It's a conundrum, isn't it? When you like something that's a horror game or a movie or whatever, you want to know more about the happenings. You want to you want to get more invested in it. But that also, you have to be careful with how much you give people because oh well, I guess we found this. It's hard to expand on like horror concepts without completely fucking ruining it. Cifferoni's comments hurt my virgin eyes. I'm here for the wholesome Tolo Christ Chum. Christ Chum stream. Christ Chum, huh? Christ Chum. I am a Christ Chum. Chummy for Jesus. Jesus is a friend of mine, as a matter of fact. Holy shit, I got all the notes! Fuck yeah, dude. Probably the easiest notes so far in any of these levels. But these levels actually take for fucking ever, I feel, compared to normal Banjo-Kazooie levels. Although maybe I'm just misremembering. Which I like, I think it's... I see the fucker, you can't hide from me. Got all the notes, but I need three jiggles still. Levels are multi-parted too, they're quite big for- yeah, they are, for sure. Cifroni a different breed of human- Cifroni is what happens when- when you have bored, underpaid teachers. She is the direct result of that. Like, funding education and paying teachers more would have made Cifroni normal, I think. Or at least not quite this bad. Teachers get better pay. We c yes, I think so. I I'm pretty confident in that. Except for no, I doubt she's a bad teacher. But like, you got to get rid of the stress somehow. And I guess for her, it's coming in and talking about, you know. Cifferoni is at least furry adjacent. I don't think so. You vote against schools? Yeah, but that's just because I'm a hypocrite and I want to save my money. I mean, as long as it's other people's money, it's fine, right? In the American way. Marinara Trench is 20 miles from the Yif Ranch. I don't think that's true. I don't think there's a Yif Ranch out in the ocean. Oh my god, did you see that dude? Perfect aim. Give me that. <laughs> Nothing but net, yeah. What is this? Oh! Never seen that before. What game is that? I don't know. It's a mystery. The Marinara Trench is easily accessible to all comers. You can't see me right now, but I'm giving you a thumbs up, Cifferoni. Where would the last puzzle pieces be? It's 
sorry. I need to stop calling them puzzle pieces. Jiggies. Worth a shot? The Shrek fairy would know. I guess she... She might. I think she gave us our hints already. How does one come in spirit? Well, now that we're talking about this, I still envy the man who can apparently come without any physical contact. He can just will himself into an organism. God damn. Thank you, communism, for the 65 months. King Shiggy Diggy the third. Hell yeah, brother. What's up? How are you and Chester? You can't do that? No. I'm a lesser human being, I guess. What can you do? Actual se- Who the fuck is having actual sexual encounters on Twitch? <laughs> Unbelievable, dude. <laughs> what is this guy talking about? I am man, that's why I haven't been around so often. All gotcha. So you're saying, like, not being on Twitch every day means that you must be having sex? Hmm. Having a sexual encounter right now? Probably more true than not. True, I'm on Twitch every day. Um, I got the token. <sighs> Hold up. I still need to give that fucker the notes to go to Death Valley. Death Mountain? I don't know if it's Death Valley or Death. I think it's Death Mountain in this game. Death Valley is a place in real life. What the fuck is this? You sick fuck! Oh, excuse me. Excuse me, sorry, I'm getting pretty sleepy. Just a big tired fuck. That seems important. Is it? The girl got banned for a week afterwards? I don't know what we're talking about right now. Greasy pepperoni pizza? Dude, that sounds so good. Banjo's too chill. I've been waking- so... I have a fucking embarrassing problem. I actually have- a, a squirrel has created a hole on the siding of my house. And it lives in my wall. And it wakes up at around 7 or 8 a.m. And it starts making fucking dumbass, like, squirrel thunking noises. And it's, like, literally a foot from where I sleep. And so the squirrel is my my uh, alarm, whether I like it or not. So... Because you keep pissing at him. Well, I'm, I called the fucking pest control to kick his ass, so... Fuck him. That's not... Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Come on, dude. So, because I, I I was like researching like how to take care of it, but I'm like, you know what? I don't have the skills to fix a hole, and I don't know. They, like someone recommended on the internet, like apparently you can get a metal drum, fill it a quarter of the way with water, and put like sunflower seeds in it, and they'll kill themselves to get the sunflower seeds, which. It didn't seem too nice. It didn't seem very kind. But apparently that's extremely effective. Uh, but I'm not I'm not gonna test that theory. Cause that'll get rid of the squirrel, but that won't fix the fucking hole, so it was like a war crime. 
Alright, let's let's go back here. School part well the, the the drum won't, but I don't know, the thing is like it's pretty serious. Uh, it takes a lot to get me to call someone over the phone and, like, schedule an appointment immediately, but, like, I don't want squirrels, like, biting wires and fucking burning my house down, you know? Oh, that doesn't seem very cool. Exactly, Michael. Yeah, they're coming Wednesday at 8 a.m., so I'm not, I'm not dallying with that. Thank you, Poseidon, for 14 months. I appreciate it. I'm not, not fucking around with a squirrel in the wall. <laughs> Never ends, dude. What's going on, Giselle? A fucking squirrel in the wall. Out of all the things, dude. God damn it. I'm such a sick freak. Free that little pink critter. Pest control to fly to Jamaica or something? Got all my homework done for the weekend. Nice, dude. You acing it? You doing good? You getting good grades? You on the war path? I see. That's fucking insidious. But that's also good level design, I guess. Yes, for now. Hell yeah, brother. I didn't even notice that hole. Something you'd have to remember from... Well, no, he does a good job of, like, making it to where you look at it. Reminding me about all the homework I haven't done. Fuck it, dude. Hit the bricks. Drop out and be homeless. That's the official Tolomia recommendation. He's a baby! Oh. I want to free him. Got it done early, so now I can. Tolomeo Domeo. Nobody calls him that. Normally that's where you get some milk in a jar. I guess that's why the cow is there then. Thanks for the advice till I can finally be free. Yeah, yeah, be homeless. Stealing the little guy's Ecom Bokum? He didn't need it, dude. What about the chest that you hurt? Oh, excuse me. Excuse me, I guess this is a good time to go to bed. So check what that is and then we can we can call it. Play Vigigam and eat hot Cheeto? Yeah. No, but I, I was always terrible with the homework and assignment bullshit, too. Like, I never did my stuff on time, either. Although I was never late unless I actually legitimately forgot, which happened once. My cloister is pulsating. Maybe it has pokey roughs. Sorry, I know it's probably not enjoyable if like, I can hear me yawning into the mic. Sifroni always like this? Yes and no. She's gotten a lot more brazen with it. I think she's always been that way. But I don't... She's just maximum comfy level 1000, I guess. What's it gonna be? What's in the box? What's in the box? What the? Oh. What the fuck is this? Uh -huh. Okay. Well, that's neat. It's just a. Oh, man. 
damn, we got a ways to go, holy shit. Alrighty, but I'm sorry, I, I'm gonna get some, some sleepies, dude. I hope you guys like the stream, I'm a fuck off. Uh, reminder, tomorrow I'm going to be playing Zomboid, but not on my channel. It's going to be on Russ Money's channel, so if you're into that, that's where I'll be tomorrow. Um, so, if I don't see you, I hope you have a good weekend. I'm a fuck off. Take it easy.